All right, we are off to the races. Uh, we are we are back. I'm very excited. As the uh, as the jaunty music in the background may suggest, we are back to across the obelisk, which uh, which I've been having so much fun with. Like we had a great stream earlier this week. Uh, it is rare that I do the same game twice in a week, but uh, but here we are with across the obelisk. So without further ado. Let us not uh, mince mince words too uh, too much here, but yeah, I, I really enjoyed our first run through of this, and I'm very curious how uh, how things go with the rest of our run, and then uh, and then we have this uh, frog assassin who I'm presuming is kind of like poison based, which I'm pretty excited to try out. But uh, but without further ado, let's get uh, let's get back into the game. All right, we resume where we left off, uh, just at the beginning of Act Three. So let's see what uh, let's see what we got going on. We have we have nine crates uh, for upgrades, which is rather exciting. I wonder if let's uh, let's make sure that nothing in the six tier is that interesting. The un uncommon cards available for crafting increase by two. It's interesting. Uh, the cost of transforming cards is reduced by 50%. Hey, Zine. Ooh. This seems very, very strong. Cost of removing cards is cheaper. Cost of divination rounds is cheaper. Or increased the rarity of items in the town armory. That could potentially make for some interesting things. Or currency retention at end of game is increased by 20%. I don't think that's what we're looking for. So I think we want to do 1, 3, and 1, 6 here. So let's see, what makes the most sense? Cost of items in the town army are reduced by 15% is interesting. We haven't needed curing injuries so far. So far. Uh, but at some point we will presumably need that. Upgrading and transforming. I don't know what transforming is. Cause this, is this process here? Transforming? possible to transmute a card between its upgrades. So maybe that's what they mean by that. Maybe this is this is the transmute like switch between the two. It's an interesting question. Let's let's look at the third tier see if there's anything. Ooh, advanced divination is interesting. Unlock the caravan node outside the starting town. I don't know what that does. I think it makes it probably makes our early game significantly stronger. Unlock the ability to sell supplies for gold and shards. Okay, we don't need that for a long time. Trans okay, so transforming is between the two cards. Thank you, Turok. That's not that I'm not super excited about that. I might go with these two. Reduce cost of items and increase rarity. Because I think I think items are pretty strong. It's that or reduce the cost of crafting cards and the uncommon. Actually, let's do crafting cards and the uh, the cards available. Let's do these two. We'll get those two for now. All right. Speaking of which, so over here, anything of great interest? Let's uh, let's remind ourselves about our heroes. So we have a very defensive pupper. Then we have you, who's been doing a fair amount of poison, has some rapid shot, etc. Then we built you for fire predominantly. You've become kind of like a fire mage. Uh, and then over here, we have like a healing powerhouse. Ah, so there's advanced divination. I assume that gives us rarer cards. Cloak of speed, all resistance, plus two speed, interesting. Rejuvenation Potion. Recover 28 HP and gain one energy once per combat. Seems like a an oh boy button. Combat start. All heroes gain one of these. There's some good and some bad there. Not sure I like that. Every turn, reduce the, reduce the cost of a random skill in your hand by one uh, until discarded. I like Handbook. Let's uh, let's check out pets. Do we have any new pets available? No, so we have to unlock these, apparently. 
like handbook could be good here. So combat and all heroes re re restore four. I think handbook is better than this. Is that the best of them? Voodoo doll? Not really that interested. Surprise box? No. This has a requirement on it, so I'm not that interested. I think I'll grab I'll grab handbook for for Reginald. Make uh, make things cheaper. I think that's a good one, and the extra max HP is good. But that's all we're gonna do there. Then our car our decks are getting a little a little thick, especially up here. We might want to kind of we might not need quite this many heals. I'm not sure the Holy Smites are doing us much good either. They're very expensive for what we're getting out of them. So we'll get rid of those too. Most runs you can unlock, unlock one to two max of the pets or characters due to routing. Yeah, that's how it's been feeling, which does slow things down a little bit. I think I'm going to get rid of one barrier as well. We like Benediction, we like Binding Heal. I think we have we have too many just flat heals though. By by removing cards, we're still getting we're still getting to our heals faster, so I think that's okay. And then up here, some of these are pretty pretty uninteresting, but hold on, I want to check to see. Like Shadow Men, the last one that we did, we went yellow tier, which was bigger heal more damage. I think this is the way we want to go because of our defense. Not sure we're going to spend shards on that one necessarily. Let's see. So, Ember Storm. I, I kind of want to thin her deck out. I think Ember Storm is pretty solid, though. So this is interesting. Like, it either... The difference between these two upgrades is kind of weird. So you're really, it's only only one burn that's the difference. Hmm. I really liked having Hunter's Mark cheaper, but things are getting a little expensive up in this piece. Plague Shot, we've been using a ton. Too expensive over here, but rather expensive over there too. Uh, okay, so that's, that's what we're doing over there. We have... We have the forge. Let's see if we have anything of great interest in here. Holy cow. You're, there's really a lot of cards on offer once you once you fully unlock a hero. I how close are we to fully unlocking? Some of these heroes is the other interesting question. Oh, can Captain's Howl be unlocked? No. Hey, Industrious Lux, you are looking at Across the Obelisk, which is uh, a very interesting card building use, uh, using the filter. Very interesting uh, deck building roguelite. Yeah, I mean, this helps a bit, but it is hard. Okay, I see. So these these are toggles. Oh yeah, I did want to upgrade Grinding Wheel. Let's do that really quickly. Because I want I want this to be targetable on other ones. Ooh, that's all our money. I think it's probably still worth it. Because we can get an insane hit out of Andren with Grind Wheel. But maybe some of the lesser heals are a better first grab. I don't want them disappearing. Bottom right is a bottom right there is a filter in the magic forge hold on the magic forge is this one bottom right oh how clever it's like for instance we could go to evelyn we could say filter by fire and we could see what uh what alternate things like we probably want to get rid of some of these fire blasts although they're free These are all the fire cards. It's 
Is it like Slay the Spire, but with meta currency and more characters? Yes, and you have a party of four people. Yeah, so so I think that's what you meant by more characters. But let's see, let's, let's go back to the church. I am gonna get rid of two of these just cause we, we need to start thinning our deck here. We've made kind of like a rather, a rather thick deck. I'm not, Ember Storm is okay, but I'm not blown away by it. I've liked the, I've liked the transmissions, but I think maybe we should be spending our resources elsewhere. So I'm gonna let those go to try and get things thinned out a bit. Yes, it does also have a co-op mode. That is a good call out. So we have this Cloak of Speed, we can't really afford it. I think we're gonna do a basic divination. Yeah, let's let's do a basic divination because we don't have a lot of other places. Well, oh yeah, elemental proliferation. I want to see what the upgrade is on this. Whoops, too many too many different places to to do things. All right, here we go. Oh, elemental proliferation cannot be upgraded. I see. These gem these upgrade mana gem upgrades are way too expensive. Heat wave we could make not apply to us, but we have a lot of healing rains still, so we're probably okay. I think I'll do this upgrade on flare. Same with ignite. I don't like that all these cards are becoming vanish cards. Where X equals your burn. We don't want to we know we don't want to go with that one. So let's see. I think I think another Shadow Mend is a good pickup. And then over here, we did get Poison Catalyst. Oh, very expensive to upgrade. Never mind. I don't want to switch it to front monster. That's a weird upgrade right there. I don't think the increase in efficacy is worth the, the price of admission there. Plague Shot, I think we go with the the non not more expensive upgrade on that one. We no longer have the ability to afford that. I do kind of want to get rid of that rend. That's not doing us any favors. What, what is the upgrade on Wolfguard? Does up does Wolfguard? No, it doesn't have an upgrade. Ah, do it yourself also needs to get removed. That was a that was a foolish purchase, but I don't think I don't think that's part of our uh, part of our plan. I uh, don't want to remove expert tracker. Where's the deflects upgrade? Are they? They're nice, but they're not. I mean, we could do a couple deflect upgrades if we wanted to. I don't know if heat wave is that terribly useful, but Vampiric Touch. It's an expensive upgrade, but we're we're gonna be using our Shadow Men's more, I think. Yeah, let's uh let's grab it as an upgrade. And then I I'm tempted to get rid of one more heal, but but let's uh let's upgrade the, the one barrier that we've kept. We could make it self-remove. Ooh, it gains a heal if we do that. I shouldn't have gotten rid of that other barrier. That's a, that's a nice one, for sure. We're now out of room for divination. Does the same logic apply to this game, meaning basic starting cards are bad? Uh, for the most part, I think it's a little less, like less 100% that. Let's see, a few more, a few more cheap upgrades. Intercepts, we, we always like to be able to play these. So we'll grab a couple of those, and then with our remaining money, I think we just save our remaining money, unless we have any other removals we want to do. Maybe a basic defense don't need to be in here. Your deck is already pretty thin. I'd love to get a little less, but I don't really want I don't really want my heals to go away. Is Ember Storm good? Yes, yes. I think we've thinned as much as we can thin. So let's uh Let's press forward. We'll, we'll float a little bit of money, not the end of the world. Okay, so let's see. So there is there is a hero that we could pursue. There's also... 
A crack in the wall. Oh, there's a hero here too. So we have rat person and we have this person. So it looks like rat person, we might end up going down. No, okay. We Oh, okay. We have pirate's coin here, which we have the pirate's coin. So we probably want to go here, 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 here to the sewer outlet. Yeah, I think that's the play. I assume the pirate's coin might just give us the ability to go down this way. Which we don't... Hmm. Yeah, the, the decks are a little more a little more in-depth. Uh, yeah, I couldn't get enough of the obelisk. I liked it. I assume that the coin just allows me safe passage to here, which I don't care about. So we could go here and get the druid. We could go here and get the something, or we could go here and get the something. The path, can I go? I can go this way and I can get the uncommon event and then get this guy. So let's let's do that. Okay. Beggars at the gates. Along the way, you meet two beggar elves, a man, a woman, both ragged and hungry. They tell you that when the, for, uh, when the frost calamity descended from the skies and froze the city, they, were there, they weren't they were there, and they were lucky. However, that ruined their way of life, and it is impossible for them to return to the city to retrieve their belongings. They want to flee Faybog, uh, but they had to sell what little they had to eat, and the price of... Uh, to get on ships are expensive. We could give them a bunch of money. We, we right now we have a lot of money. I guess there there were a lot more money. Let's give them 400, 400 gold. They both thank you, uh, but the elven woman also tells you that she used to work as a royal guard in the city armory. She tells you that the guards kept the best weapons and armor in a secret place in the armory. She tells you where the place is. Okay, does that add a map note? I don't see one. Hmm. Well, we'll go we'll go over this way. I, I'm still in on on this sewer friend. We'll uh, we'll see what they're about. Hey Alex! The unlucky trainer. In the forest, you see a young girl throwing strange balls to some squirrels. When you get closer, she says, Ah, today is my is, is not my lucky day, although it doesn't look like it. I'm a professional monster trainer. It's hard to catch them with all this cold. This is my last ball. Want to try your luck? I'll sell it to you for 400 gold. If you manage to hit the squirrel with the ball, the squirrel will be charmed and it will be yours. Uh, I will... Oh, so, okay. So... If we hadn't spent our money, we would have had a 31% chance to get the squirrel pet. But uh, I guess I'm going to train this pet to make it better. Because we uh, we didn't have the money. All right, we get some shards. Our bunny is improved. Life is life is good. What is this node? Oh, there's, there are stores. That's interesting. Okay, so Sub-Zero, all monsters gain plus three damage, immune to cold and slow every two rounds at a freeze. Um, I don't think this is a good idea. It's, it's an extreme difficulty and we're fighting mobs we've never seen before. So I'm just going to fight this one normal. Low, you monster. <laughs> All right, let's see. So 1,000 Needles might as well. Uh, we'll protect her as she is the, the weakest. And then I'm going to not play the defend because we're already, I think, doing pretty well. So we have these Squirrel Astronauts, which... Okay, not, not sure who we should be uh, be targeting, but we probably play the Maneuver into the Rupture. I don't think that was a bad turn. 
boat. Now we're gonna see the now we're gonna see the pain. Okay, that was a lot of that was a lot of action. I don't like these random chip damage attacks. Okay. Everybody gets some thorns. Okay. I was gonna say binding heal would have been uh, would have been a good one to pick up. Start out with that. Get ourselves a little bit of regen. I think it, it is my job to keep people healthy, but I guess. Do I really want to take six and do that? No, I think we're I think we're good on that front. Do that. I'll play the mana gem. And now now we have to decide what we're gonna do. So immolate is our is our big burn card. Now is this is this just gonna do an insane amount because we're gonna get thorns back like crazy? I presume that's the case. We would take twenty-two damage. Let's let's confirm that that is the case. Certainly looked like it. Yes. But we've almost we've almost deleted this guy. Is this gonna cause more thorns too? I wonder because it's only applying. No, it didn't. Okay, cool. That's good to know. And if I can get rid of this guy, that's that's good for business. We'll have some we'll have some healing that we can do on her uh, in the future. Okay, you're already roasted. I think we. Thorns is Thorns is a pain in the butt though, I will say. How much do we have? We have four. Okay. Goodbye, Squirlo. We're gonna have a lot of healing to do, it looks like. Give fish. Nice. Alright. Hopefully we get a barricade. Or two. Unfortunately, we can only grindstone ourselves for, for reasons. I guess we might as well. Actually, do we have any way to... We might not have any attacks in the deck anymore. That's an interesting... Uh, that's an interesting conundrum. Yeah, we have only unlocked the first four, but yes, there absolutely are. Uh, we've, In fact, we've unlocked one new hero. So we, uh, we do have... We do have one new hero to play with. Now, Detoxify isn't going to do much good. Is, is someone taunted? Oh, this is front monster. Okay. Either way, it's a good heal. And then... We'll zap you, and then... We'll do that. Okay. So she's looking healthy for, for all of the pain and agony that we've caused her. We didn't make a lot of progress on healing up our, uh, our ranger, but... If we want to do that, then we want to... I guess we go for this guy. Okay. I like what happened there. Yeah, yeah. For sure. And I, I will try to do some silly voices just for you, Lo. Let's see. So these are going to give more draw. I don't know that we need more draw, so let's let's just light that guy up. Okay. Let's see. I will expert tracker here. Let's let's see if we can 
make sure we're getting some heals. Do a little bit of protection there, and then... Adrenaline will get us the rapid fire. Which I will use to, to secure that kill. Ah, so we do we do have at least one attack. I'd like this guy to be gone, but I think I do that maybe. Yeah, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna bother with the shield bash because of the because of the fact that we'd be hitting into someone who is already expiring. Is it possible to go infinite, or is there a hard limit? Yeah, we don't know yet, Industrious, but uh, we're going to find out eventually. Okay, so let's see. So I will big shadow mend here. Binding heal. Double healing rain. Okay. That wasn't bad. Hit you with the carp too for a little bit of extra healing, I think. I think we do that because that should remove the evasive there as well. Hit you with the mana gem. Alright, no more no more squirrel. Love to see it. Start out with the start out with that. Would have liked to have gotten the other hunter's mark upgraded for sure. I'm one thing I'm really impressed by right now is the the quantity of healing we're getting out of those healing rains. It is uh it is no joke. Should have done the headbutt sooner. But that's okay. We have a lot of a lot of protection right now. I like these little guys. So let's see. So I think let's play Omen of Peril. See if we can get a Shadow Mend because that's our that is our biggest heal. That will top you off. Then we can. We could dispel magic on who's going next. I mean, everybody's going. So let's do let's do someone that would take damage. I think she's going to be able to do all the work we need to do here. Yep, it's all done. And we can... Where did that poison come from? That was interesting. But we'll just finish this guy off. Yeah, if, if, you, if you mess up an encounter, you can... Uh, you can definitely... Retry. Shake it off is an interesting card. Because I think our tank is going to be taking a lot of abuse, and their their deck is relatively thin here. Sniper shot requires stealth. We do have a stealth enabler, but this seems what is OC overcharge? Pay one extra to do an extra nine damage. Interesting. I don't think any. I don't think sniper shot. We have the capacity to fully make it work. And I think nothing there. And then bulk heal. Heal X, where X equals 1.5X your draw pile. That's pretty interesting. So is temporary chain. So shackle removes evasion from a target. Does it remove evasion and then do the damage, or the other way around? I wonder. Bulk heal is kind of cool. 
We'll try that out. On to the closed gate. Another fight. Uh, monster speed plus two. Apply speed to a random character. Uh, gain access to a rare equipment shop with a 30% discount, or party will gain access to an upgrade altar. Let's let, let's do this. We'll uh, we'll up the challenge for this one. We relatively know what these guys are in for. But does it do the damage, Stefan? I guess that's the that's the question that I was wondering. I, I hate that we're not getting our barricades on turn one here. Very frustrating. I don't think we bother headbutting. I think it's probably these casters that we're gonna end up doing the uh, the bulk of the work on as best we can. We'll start with this guy. Right now I'm feeling like draw is our big, uh, our big limiting factor. Those thorns are really annoying. All right, they're doing a lot of stuff here. This fight's going to be an interesting one, to be sure. Let's play Omen of Peril. Of these, I'll grab the Healing Rain, I think. Our draw pile was bigger before, so maybe I start with that. Okay. All right, big numbers here, lady. Big numbers. A big hit for her, but that's kind of our job. All right. Okay, hopefully, we get some barricades this time. We did indeed get a barricade. I like playing Shake It Off here. I don't mind losing the intercept. Oh, it is at random. Okay, noted. But nonetheless, getting the dispel there was good. Okay, this, this better be a turn where we absolutely wreck. Uh, let's play the Deflect first. We play the Maneuver into Rupture to get some more draw. Okay. No play for Catalyst there, but that's okay. We haven't gotten Wolf Guard, so our tank is a little... Frozen Puffer Fish seems unpleasant. Mass Dilute. Okay, everybody over there gets some healing. That's fine. Oh, she can play that on other people. That's interesting. I think these back guys are the ones we want to work on. Are these, are these guys burn immune? No. So why did the burn... Why was there burn immunity there? Is it because of the wet? Prevents burn charges. Got it. Okay. Noted. Should have should have plenty of heal for uh, for her. We also have to spell magic handy. Being having wet on our fire mages is causing some issues. Um, I think I think she gets that.
I want you to have a little extra energy. There we go. All right. It's a turn. All right. So we want we want big numbers out of our... Uh... That removed my stealth. Playing a deflect removes my stealth. Okay. I need to learn how stealth works, apparently. The more you know. Let's just make sure we get good stuff out of this. I don't want that. I don't want that. I want the rest. All right, we get to play. We get to play out our hand here. All right, dies after its turn, not before, because poison happens at the end of the turn. Okay, so on an empty hand, you can't play a discard. That is good to know. Let's get Wolf Guard up. Play the Barricade. Play Thousand Needles. Get a little bit more of that. Is there any value to playing this? Probably not. Let's uh, let's let's do a Max Grind Wheel, and we'll call that our turn there. Ah, okay, so they're putting they're putting stuff into our deck. That's what's causing the issues. So let's see. Right now I think Fireball will take out this guy. So that's looking that's feeling like like a good time. It did not take out that guy. Noted. Oh yes it did. Okay. It looked like it didn't for a second there. Okay. So Heat Wave is really good because it can't it counters It counters uh the enemy being wet. That is that is good intel. Not a bad turn. So now this guy's put up some armor, so I guess we're gonna swap targets to this guy. But so far we're pretty, I feel pretty under control. We'll, we'll open with the headbutt, I guess. Let a, let a regular defend go. The barricades, I think, are also saving our bacon. I'd love a way to strip thorns. That would be useful. Living Flame. I think this is gonna do a lot of thorns damage to us, but we'll just uh, let's try and recover. We have we have a lot of healing, so we should we should be using said healing. Where X equals the oh th this guy does have some insanity, so let's put in let's start out by putting in a big old hit there. We can still do a Shadow Mend to get you topped up and do a Shadow Mend to at least improve you a little bit. Now, hold on a second. Catalyst. Show me Catalyst. doubles that but we have we have a piece of equipment that means that for every poison we apply a bleed to okay so that's big we should 
That means that when we double our poison, we are potentially also doubling our... Uh, doubling our other stuff. So that's good to know. Alright, this guy dies to the poison himself. Alright, so that was good. That was very good. We, we got some new unlocks. Greater heal. You don't say. Okay, let's, let's start up here. Sharing is caring. Plit, split your block with another hero. Ooh. We usually have too much block. I kind of really like sharing is caring. Transform bleed. So poisonous blood is insane. Because we transfer our bleed into poison, and then it all turns back into bleed again. Ambush is also rare, but it requires stealth. So we'll go poisonous blood. Firestorm. Repeat once. No, I don't think we want that. And then... Greater heal is really expensive. I think we're already doing enough healing with our smaller heals. So I'm gonna grab I'm gonna stick with that. Ah, so we are we are a little too broke to fully make this work, aren't we? Do we have anything of interest in here? Even with a 30% discount, everything's too expensive. Max 5 HP when you play a skill, gain an evasion. Every two turns gain an energy. Gaining an energy is nice, but Chalice of the Kings is insane. Vile Ring is insane. When you play a book, draw one card, a random hero gains one of those. Reduce the cost of the highest song spell. Stone Amulet gives you some protection, and then this armor gives you HP and thorns. I'm thinking Ninja Scroll is the is the one, but I want to figure out is Oh, can I not look at decks right now? Oh, here we go. Click it here. Sk poisonous blood is a skill. This is a skill. This is a skill. Okay, so yeah, so mark is a skill. Sadly, deflects are not a skill, but adrenaline is a skill. I think ninja scroll goes pretty hard on Andron, and I don't think mana potion is doing that much crazy stuff. So let's swap that in. Okay. Wish I had a bit more money. I shouldn't have given the 400 to the uh, to the beggars. But say la vie. Let's see what this sewer outlet is all about. The Exiled. You arrive at the outlet of the city sewer, which is closed by a barred gate. Here you find a rat man who seems to be desperately searching for something. As you approach, you hear him say, Without the key, there is no point in going in. Not that I'm sure everyone is frozen. I thought this was my chance to get back. Uh, what was taken from me when I was exiled, but where did I leave it? I have to find the key no matter what. He ignores you and continues like, okay, so I guess this was the second half of a quest? All right, well, that's disappointing. Wait, why can't I? I can't seem to click on the, oh, I guess I have to do this. You don't have the key nor a way to get into the sewer, okay. All right, I assumed that that was going to start another quest, but I guess not. Armageddon. All monsters plus three damage, immune to fire, uh, add a meteorite to all monsters. I don't think I want that. Crescent Light is certainly strong, but it's not really our build, nor is that. So we're going to skip the challenge, I think, here. Because we're going to be facing some new enemies that have a lot of hit points. I am realizing. Okay, very disappointed to not see... Very disappointed. I should have gotten rid of Grinding Wheel. That was that was a mistake. So, okay. So, if Poison Blood works the way I think it is, we're going to gain four Poison... And then we're going to gain four bleed from the four poison. Yep, that did seem to work that way. And we'll shadow step, which is much more fragile than I thought it was.
Okay, that's a lot of damage on our front guy. Okay, they apparently have their own... Their own stuff. Cool. These archers are kind of jerks. We may uh, we may have a problem, Houston. Okay, so we play Cold Spark first. I'm starting to feel like we can't we can't even get these guys roasted. So I'll do that. Then it's gonna be two mana gems. Play the carp here so we see what we draw. I think Ember Storm is good for removing the evasion, so we'll do that. We have no self burn, but this is still a 23 point hit. We can actually, we can play everything. I think I'm going to try and burn down this front guy. We'll see how that plays out for us. I'd love to see binding heal. There it is. Okay. Who do we want? Who do we want to dispel magic on? Probably our tank. They've taken some, taken some abuse. Might, might have been better just to go for the heal, but I think we're going to get barricades, which are going to radically reduce things. I forgot we had Shake It Off. That's a bit of a shame. Okay, so I can play Shake It Off even if I have no discard. That's a very good piece of intel. Okay, so we start out with Poison Shot because we have learned our lesson and we want to get the benefit from that. Then we play, play Adrenaline Rush, then we play Hunter's Mark. Alright, we need some... I feel like there's a draw issue that we have with, uh... With our, our Ranger. We seem to always have enough stuff, but... These, these archers have a very, uh... Sensual hurt sound. <laughs> need need to work on that one, but go figure. Let's see. So grant an, an extra energy. I think an extra energy back here looks good. We're not gaining that much. Fifteen burn would be a pretty good step in the right direction here. I really don't want... I, I, I'm not going to continue to push on this one. We'll hopefully get some chip damage before uh, before we go too much further. I can't help but notice that there's a, we have a lot of fire damage on ourselves, and I was really hoping we would pick up a... Some way to some way to handle that. I guess I'll I'll do that to get you healed up. Oh, that was mostly the bleed and the burn. That was a mistake. Get myself topped up that way. And then Yeah, we don't need we don't need any more healing. Do we have any poison available? No. It also grants one buffer. Here, I'll put that there. We should still have one barricade. I think we haven't drawn one of our barricades. Yes, we do still have one barricade. I don't think we need to split our block. We certainly could. She's, she's taking a fair amount of abuse, so we'll do that because we have Wolf's Guard, so we're gonna be we're gonna be in good shape. Okay, the Shiv I think puts you. Oh, it didn't quite get there. 
Okay, you're you're no longer getting a turn, which is excellent. Good for business. No. No poison to kind of like spread. We really need a way to transfer poison. It seems. Yeah, see, so wolf wolf's guard means that we're generating a lot. I think the the electrocute here might have killed them, so maybe we didn't need that. I feel like we're gonna draw all of our healing rains on our uh on our healer when we get there. Which is not ideal, but You're disarmed. What does that do? Unable to play attack cards. Okay, not a problem. Probably should have done that slightly differently. Equal to my burn. Okay. I'm a little surprised we didn't pick up a healing rain. I'll grab one. I, I just want to remove our burn. We don't really need a big heal, so I think I'm gonna... We don't have binding heal either, but we'll start out with that. Then we can give ourselves a bit of a heal there. Play Benediction up here. The rest of this is bleed damage that we're not going to be able to get rid of, so I guess we just do that. Yikes! Ooh! What a, when did this guy decide to go all, uh, all sicko mode? That was a lot of action. So I'll put that there. Uh, I'm not gonna play. I thought I was disarmed, so I can't. I can't play headbutt. Okay, I was like, I, that's what I thought was going on, but. Okay, I'm gonna try and get this back guy sorted out. We'll maneuver into a rupture here. And then I can do that. And hopefully that, that gets the kill, which is good. And then I want to make sure I get good good cards. Like I don't need damage right now. I just need uh I just need heals. So that'll be that. She's definitely carrying her, uh... She's, she's struggling a bit with energy, though, for sure. Okay, so binding heal, let's do that there. Get everybody a little bit of a heal. The healing is out of control. Detoxify does nothing. I think barricade is my is my single favorite ability. That was interesting. I guess that that doesn't do that doesn't do the rest. So let's see. Uh, we play deflect first. We. I think at this point we we go hard on this guy here. Need a bit of healing on our tank for sure. I was kind of hoping we would get our our jump thing. I'm going to use that to just remove the, your evasion. Oh, you have more evasion still. 
continued evasion. Let's see. Just do that. I'm going sicko mode. I mean, I'm certainly trying. Let's see. We'll start out with that. Get a heal going there. Do that to heal ourselves up. Okay. This will mitigate a little bit of damage there. Shake it off. Do that and do that. And then I'm going to try and get the kill before this guy gets a chance to go, I think. Which looks like it's going to be pretty doable. Oh, so Ninja Scroll only happens once. It's still good. Still good to have that evasion. But I think I, uh, I did not realize that that was the case. With one hit point left, this guy hangs around. All right. Hmm. That's exciting, though. Some more unlocks. We must be getting pretty close. Our performance was satisfactory. So we have Bluff that is a melee damage that does blunt damage. We have Colossal Blow, which purges armor. Colossal Blow seems awfully good. Cleave also seems pretty interesting. Cleave with Grindstone seems pretty interesting. Because if I recall correctly, Grindstone only increases our... It increases our sharp damage. So that would... So Cleave and Grindstone play well together. I'll grab that. Ammunition. Discover three ranged attacks and place one on the top of your deck. Cost reduced by two and vanish. Okay. That seems fun. So you have our three song spells. Okay. Requires stanza 2 plus, but it does 42 damage. I'm going to try ammunition. That seems kind of fun. Disintegrate. Costs 9. Excuse me? Excuse me? I think, I think we need a different build to make disintegrate work, but it looks hilarious. Uh, Omen of Peril seems very good. Having another one of those gives us more flexibility. I mean, I would love to take Disintegrate, but... Like, I don't think... I don't think this is the deck for that. What about Dark Ritual? So we grant two Energize to a hero, but we suffer a bunch of damage. Don't love that. And then we have Shatter, that would be very fun in an ice deck, but that's not what we're playing. Okay, so we can go to a store... But we are broke. Well, we're not super broke. We might be able to get like one item. That's pretty bad though. Hmm. I, I think it's a waste of a node to go to the store. So we'll come down here to the house. The frozen house. You arrive at an elven house that is completely frozen. Curiously, you are able to open the door easily, and inside, although frozen, everything seems to be somewhat tidy. In the living room, you find a couple of frozen elves. No doubt someone has moved them and placed them together. They are dead, but at least the death was instantaneous. That comforts you a little. There is little else you can do here, but try to look for something of value. Someone has been here. You feel bad. You prefer not to take anything. Uh, they are already dead. You look for anything of value. Someone has been here. I'm I'm not going to steal from them. Go out and make sure to close the door well so that the patrols of the dead cannot enter. You realize that the next that next to the door, and due to the magical cold, a lot of magical shards have been created. Okay. Big money. All right. So plus two damage and every round gain four power. It's a little scary. Access to an upgrade altar. Each hero will be able to remove a card. Neither of these rewards, I think, interest me that much. So we'll just do this. We came out of that last fight slightly worse off than I think I wanted to.
Ah, welcome, Andre. You haven't missed too much. You have not missed too much. Let's see. I think we maneuver into a rupture on this guy. I think I'm most afraid of them. And then I think we we play this. We play that. And then we play ammunition. And... Ricochet seems fun. Shrapnel shot seems fun also. Now these are locked. Does that mean that I unlock them by taking them, I wonder? Let's take Rick shot and see. Okay, it did not give an unlocked indicator, but that doesn't mean it's not happening. Okay, by fire be purged is the plan. You have six currently. Now, what does vulnerable do? Removes two charges at the start of turn. Minus to resist. Okay, so it's not gonna like it's not gonna remove anything else. So we could start out, we could go we could go immolate. Managem is great. Oh, that's that's front monster only, so we'll do this instead. Trying trying to really stack things up over here. And I'll I guess I'll still play that, because why not? But Okay, so detoxify, unfortunately, isn't going to do much good. So I think that's that's the turn for us there, which is not great. We did some good work on that on that back guy, who I expect is going to do a lot of, uh, going to inflict a fair amount of pain. Maybe I should have gotten that that greater heal. Now, what is this doing? Icefall. Damaged by other. Deal 10. Oh, okay. That's that's not super fun. So I think we... I don't think this does damage. So I think we can do that safely. Then we can do that safely. And then we have eight. So I'll do one of those. All right, which took away some evasion, so that was good. We might want to remove some of the chill just because this guy is uh, going so slow. Wolfguard will help us be more resilient. I don't really want to take the the return fire here. Nor do I really want to split my block. Maybe I do. Yeah, given that we have Wolfguard, seems like the front ranks are taking some abuse. So I'll, I'll split that. Okay, I'm glad I glad I split. I think we really need to get rid of the the chill on our on our front guy. That seems to be that seems to be causing problems. This will cause a return attack, but I think I'm okay with that. And then I'll do that. You have four actions left. I think fireball is a good, a good one there. And then we'll see what we can do that way. I'm not loving the book. I think I may get rid of the book. So, okay, so what we want is we want to do that so that you can start doing some work. We'll do that. Bulk heal is decent. We might not even need the rest, and then maybe we can just nuke here. Do we need the shadow? We don't really need the shadow mend. So we'll just go for the we'll just go for the nuke. We could and we could shadow mend here. Nah, I think we can we can wait on that. <laughs> OK, 
Okay, we got a petrify on her. It's never, never the most pleasant. Pillaging is your way of life, Bray. <laughs> Let's see, we'll do that. We should have headbutted earlier, but that's okay. Yeah, I'll save, I'll save the one, but. The Wrist Cutter, that's an unpleasant sounding ability. She's slow enough now that we may be able to get a Dispel off on her. So let's see if we can fish for one. Uh, this has a draw, so we'll get rid of that. We'll, I, I don't need that either. So we're just gonna, we're gonna go big time fishing. We have three left. It's probably dual strike and rapid fire. Well, now we get to do everything. Do I want to get this guy? Yeah, we have... This is such overkill, but let's just get rid of him. Our healers seen better days. Okay, so focused healing. We do that because we get the protection out of it. Healing rain times two, just to try and recover a bit more. Okay, that was a good turn. We didn't get the uh, we didn't get the paralyzed removal that I was hoping for, but Wolfguard is doing insane work. Stop hitting my back reliner, please and thank you. Okay, shake it off, me. I do need to remember. I need to play that at the end. I need to play that last. All right, let's see. Start work on you. Like, I think we're gonna be okay. It's just a matter of... getting some recovery on our, on our backliner. Love to see it. I think we might be able to like one round this guy with, with inner combustion. Not, not nearly as much as I expected it to be. We're probably gonna draw another healing rain. So I'll heat wave. That's, that's probably the better play over ignite. Okay, the regen is doing some good work. Both are omens of peril, hilarious. Let's see, I think we hit you with that. Our deck is relatively thin right now, so I think I grab Benediction. Now, it's weird that we can Shadow Mend ourselves, but we can. Play another one of these. Just grab a regular heal. Hit you with the Innervate. There we go. <laughs> Sharing is caring. We'll split a little bit of it that way and then toss an intercept there. I guess our, our backliner has been taking a lot of the abuse, so maybe we should... Maybe we should have figured out how to protect them. Oh, we're still we're still in good, which is the 30% bonus. So we have five, so I think it's rapid fire and plague shot. Let's 
see. We will carp here for a little bit of healing. Uh, Living Flame is bad value because of because uh, of no capacity for jumping. Okay, we're pretty close on this guy. Maybe Reginald can uh, can do a bit of healing and also finish the job. Looks like the answer is I pick one. I will pick that one. Nobody's poisoned, so it doesn't matter. Right, and that's the turn. Oh, I was actually wrong about the turn order. I think they switched after I put this guy on death's door. Sadly, that means we did not get the good performance. We only got the satisfactory performance. Yeah, my rogue became a tank when we picked up uh, Sharing is Caring, which is like the best name for a card ever. How does that upgrade? Split your block to all heroes. Ooh, I like that a lot. That's interesting. Dispel bleed and heal for 10. That seems pretty good. A little self-healing for our tank is pretty good. Uh, Ode to War. Uh, never Ending Story. These are all stanza cards. We haven't figured out how stanza works on this hero. Mass Invisibility. Oh, wow. Mass Invisibility seems very strong. Uh, stealth for everybody. Upgrades only cost one. It does vanish. I could, I could see that being worth picking up. And then Death's Reach is super expensive. We could pick up another Dispel Magic that's already upgraded. Kind of like the idea of that. Pulsing Heal is also kind of cool because that Pulsing Heal synergizes super well with some of those items we found. But let's grab another Dispel. I feel like I'm never, never mad about having Dispels. Maniac Mansion. You enter an elven mansion and see that it is divided into two wings plus the upper floor. In the right wing, you hear some strange noises, and when you investigate carefully, you see a dra dracomancer who is turning the frozen elves into zombies. In the left wing, you don't seem to see anyone, but the frozen dead are all over the mansion, so you will also have to be careful. So... Uh, you confront the Draco Mancer looking for the best way to attack. It's a 50-50, but we get a fight. Or we risk losing, or we risk looting the left wing. 83% success probability. Or we explore. Let's, uh, let's try looting. It's a high probability. All right. Success. Ooh, we got level ups too, which is very good. Okay, we unlocked a bunch of things. This is this is a good this is a good get for us for sure. So let's see. So the ice orb is not an improvement for you. The flail is too blunt damage, but we have the venom fang over there, so that's not interesting. Cold rune, not interesting. Ice orb, not interesting. Brass lantern. Every two turns apply Sanctify to everyone. That seems pretty strong. I don't know the handbook is knocking the doors off of things over here, so I'll probably switch this to the Brass Lantern. That seems good. But then I don't think... Oh, Ninja Scroll we put here because it upgrades. So now we get plus 12 HP, one charges, uh, and we gain two evasion. That's big. And then I think the rest of these, though, are dead draws for us. Because I don't think the blunt works for us. Cold rune, the voodoo doll. No. Yep. Okay. So we do 75 and 75. Okay. Let's do our level ups. Oh, this is a big level up, too. So you get thunderclap. Add 150%. Ninja scroll It does seem very good, Bray. Uh, I'm, I'm a fan. So especially since we have a lot of skills. Uh, I think it, it's not necessarily easy to enable on everyone. So we have Valiant Defender. Uh, four charges 
Uh, the next eight defense, a random hero gains 10 block. Valiant Defender seems very strong. So Thunderclap. All damage plus 150. The next attack deals 13, apply 5 to all monsters. I think it is Valiant Defender in this case. But that was, that was a hard-ish choice. Then over here we have Serrated Weapon, which is uh, all damage plus 3. Uh... Damage with hit, apply four bleed, and one of those. Versus rep, uh, repost, which is when you block. Uh, I think we like serrated weapon here. Because it's, it's seven uses, and it's applying bleed, which if I recall correctly, if I look at our equipment... For every poison charge you apply, apply a bleed. Okay, so that doesn't that doesn't help us as much as I thought it did. I was thinking that it was the other way around. I still think serrated weapon is the better the better pick. Plus three damage is a lot. So we'll grab that. So now spell echo. Uh, the next spell put a copy of it. That could be big or arcane conduit. For every energy used, draw a card, gain a power, and gain a shield. I feel like spell echo, we're going to have... We don't have, like, a super high-quality spell. Like, fireball is, like, pretty good, but it's pretty expensive. Oh, but it's free. Okay, yeah, spell echo is insane. Let's grab that. It's free, and the card that you generate with it is free. All resistances plus 10... Healing received plus 25, recover 20% HP, gain a invulnerable. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'll take holy symbol. Thank you. Uh, okay. Not bad. The palace stairs. Ashy sky, plus three to damage, more resistance. Uh, add ash storm to a random monster's hand, which... Deals 8 damage and burn. We have some healing rains. Uh, remove 2 cards. Each hero will get a free card upgrade. This is a risk, but I think this is insane. Because we have some very high power cards that we wouldn't be able to upgrade otherwise. So I am going to risk this one. This is going to be... There's going to be some challenge here, I'm pretty sure. Let's see. We will... Start out with a headbutt. We don't need the heal right now. I need to turn on auto and turn also, as a side note. Yeah, I see I see the power of serrated. Uh, we're a bit split between our like our the things that we're doing, but stronghold, you say. Oh. Okay, these guys are going to be annoying to kill it seems. Okay, there's Ash Storm. We knew it was coming. I wouldn't mind picking up a healing rain here. Uh, let's see. So we'll definitely start out with that. Keep everybody healthy and happy. No value to that, although we can put a buffer on someone. Okay. Now this guy is going to be annoying because... So technically, we can play these ashes and then use inner combustion <laughs> for a big hit. I feel like we do that. Inner. Inner. 
I'm intentionally taking some hits here, right? Because I think it's kind of par for the course. I think we'll be okay. We should hopefully draw a barricade here, and that will give us a lot more resilience. Okay, I'm realizing that the ash is somewhat annoying. That's a, a gross understatement, obviously. Uh, it's, uh, it's really clogging up our hand, is what I am learning. Okay, ninja scroll pops. Wait, deals 23 damage, 3 bleed? This is insane. Let's grab this barrage. I... I don't want to take a ton of damage here. Okay, so I was also hoping that the evasion would work there, but I guess since we have the evasion... We'll, we'll take some, some of a beating, and then the evasion should protect us. Okay. I'm, gonna, I'm intentionally taking some damage there in hopes that it... Uh, that getting rid of those... The ash is going to be rough, I think. Oh, my word. Oh, we're in trouble. We're in trouble, everybody. Holy smokes. Well, that was exciting. So what is this? Uh, yeesh. Wait, did he just survive? Game. It showed me the skull. Game. I was shown the skull. I, uh, I take great issue with the fact that something happened there to cause him not to die. Draw a barricade, please. All right, the lack of barricade may mean that we are uh, roasted. What what happened to your evasion? Didn't you have evasion? Oh, we're we're ruined. Yeah, it's not great. All right. <laughs> hey, Connor. Uh, let's see. Who who needs the dispel most? What is this? Uh... I think we got to keep ourselves alive. That's the... Now, it's saying you're dead. Are you actually dead? Or are you about to do another... Another death's defiance? Okay. I think it may be too late for us. Like, our, our tank having 23 hit points is not the place you want to be. Uh... So I can stack up a bunch of poison. If do I think? Yeah, I mean, so it's it's these guys doing giant hits that are the the problem. But I'm not sure. I'm not sure how to uh, how to handle that. I, do I want to play Ash cards right now? 
I think this character has enough HP that I need to get some Ash cards out of my hand. Oh my gosh. Oh, if he kills our healer, okay. Yeah, we're in trouble. Oh, we're screwed. <laughs> oh man. We may, we may play this one again, but uh, I don't think there's any way we survive. I mean, you know, I, I'm curious if it if it's going to let us replay. Uh, so what? Yeah, we'll retry combat now. Is it going to let us choose? OK, it's not going to let us choose that again. So uh, what what could we do differently here? These guys, these guys are almost impossible to kill right off the cuff. It seems. I think we need to go for this guy. That is the, that is the play. And I don't see us doing much better than we did here. Catalyst does nothing for us. So it's, it, these big guys, like they do this insane bulwark stronghold thing. Like, and then they're just invincible. So I don't think we can do anything differently with them. We need to keep our tank ha healthier. Okay, so I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go full bore after this guy, even though we may take a ton of damage. I think my. My my plan has to be, to absolutely, roast this guy. Even at at kind of any cost, uh, which we just did a very bad job of that, but. We have four actions left. Yeah, I think I'm going to greed into this this time. And then we're going to try and get rid of uh, the burn. So I'm going to try and get rid of the ash as we go. Is this really what I had last time? Trying to keep our deck our decks thin. The draws here have been horrifically bad though, I will say. Like this this guy's just about to do like a uh, like yeah, an insane amount of damage to all of us. They both do it, so... Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure entirely how you're supposed to handle that. Uh... How did this guy get 30 block? He didn't have 30 block two seconds ago. Must it must be this. Apply 12. When you block. Okay, so that's why I can't play Ember. So that's that's probably part of what killed us here. 
if we're being honest. Yeah, we need to not use AoEs because of the way that Bulwark works. This guy, this guy would have been dead, I think, if we had played smarter. So, losing, losing the action here also really hurts. Um, but we'll see. We're gonna... Okay. Play Captain's Howl. Play Defend. Play Intercept on yourself. And then sharing is carrying to here, because we got to keep our healer alive, and play that. Okay. I I think we can win this one if we if we avoid some of the dumb that we previously had, but it's But these guys are profoundly annoying. Now, last time this guy, so this guy is taking an insane amount of damage. Is there is there any chance he's gonna die? Not gonna die, I mean. I just want to see. Okay, he did die. That's that's something. Okay, the endless. So the ash storm deals twelve damage to everyone. Okay, noted. All right, enjoy, Bray. Yeah, so let's see, so... I think we I think we just became invincible, but the cards that made us invincible are at the bottom of our deck. So, I I don't think it's gonna be enough without the healer. I think if, if our healer had lasted one more turn, we might have had it, uh, which is very frustrating to say. Play deflect. Let's play adrenaline rush. Let's play maneuver. That's some damage. You do have a self heal, so you could you could choose to draw your self heal. I think given given that we have a self heal that dispels, maybe we have to do that. It's amazing that I think we're 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 not gonna survive, but we're we we had such a bad draw on our tank. Like that's the thing that is hurting us most right now. Okay, so we're gonna do Hunter's Mark. Into Plague Shot, into Poisonous Blood, into that just because you're about to die. Discard up to five cards. We'll discard that and that. Okay, draw your self heal, please. Okay, no dice. Look at look at all that block once we actually draw the cards. I I think there's I think there's hope to this. As ironic as that may sound. Well, although drawing all these ash cards is uh Unsurprisingly disastrous. <laughs> Just die to the die to the bleed. Why don't you? Alright. Yeah, so let's let's be more careful. So we would have had this guy dead without any of our people dying if we had not hit into these guys' barricades. So let's let's do that. Maximum damage, let grind wheel go. 
pop you up. Play the deflect. Play the serrated weapon. Our, our draws are terrible. Yeah, so we have to be very careful. No AoE attacks because these bulwarks are gnar extremely gnarly. That Ember Storm. I really underestimated it. All right, let's see. So Carp draws us one. Let's put it there. Hit you with that. Should have played Elemental Proliferation first, question mark? Maybe. Okay, so we are we are not we are not stacking anything. We don't want random monster, so we're gonna call it there. And keep her alive as best we can. Do that, we'll play that. Okay, so I do think bar barrage is the correct decision here, but then Okay, yeah, see that that removes the turn. So that's that is huge for us cuz eventually we'll get to some actual options here for making ourselves more Resilient. We need you not to die because we're going to need to start healing like crazy. Okay, now comes the just insane damage. How did he die? Okay, so that's a, that's a problem. And also, you you survived. Oh, Evelyn's dead too. All right, so that didn't work, and you somehow survived despite having the red thing. What is the thing? It must be the block coming from... Wait, so why is one of your bulwark charges gone? Hmm. I hit the barricade guy. Thank you, Industrious. That's it. I, that was the whole point. The only thing I was trying to do here was not do that, and then I did it. Okay. Uh, we'll go one more. Yeah, that was that was foolish. This, this may be an impossible fight, though. We may have gotten in over our heads. I really like the... I really like the learning aspect of being able to replay these fights. I don't like the the perpetual death aspect of it, but you know. The the thing that really killed us here though is the uh our tanks draws were absolutely atrocious. Like, our tank really could not have drawn worse. Like, all of our bar Like, we have two barricades. We have Valiant Defender and Wolf Guard, and all of them we know now are on the bottom of our deck. Which feels bad. I'm going to put this here, because we... Because you died a little early last time. And we are nuking ourselves down, but I think we have to delete this guy. I 
I don't think I don't think I can because if I I'm not gonna get through it, so I'm not gonna make any progress on them. So I think uh, I think it's I we have to get our we have to get a numbers advantage and then we have to start working on them, which uh, which feels bad for sure. Uh, let's see. Hit you with that. I think we need to do. Gotta get rid of that, and then I will not play the Ash, because last time you died just by a smidge. Okay, so let's see. So it is... Oh, by playing these in a different order, we get offered different things. How curious. So discover cards can be, can add some RNG. Okay, don't play shield bash. Play thousand needles, play that, play the ash. And then get the dispel there. Okay, here comes the the hurt. Got her. Is our healer still dead? Yes. Wow. Damn. Hmm. I, I mean, I think I think this is it. We're we're boned, like, yeah. Hmm. I want to play Lethal Shot just because it's a big hit, but. Yeah. Hmm. We're we're so close. Like, well, I mean, are we so close? No, we aren't. Ashy Sky was just uh, was just too much to handle. You live and you learn. You live and you learn. All right, that's gonna be that's gonna be the end. I'm not gonna retry again. Uh, I I don't think there's a I don't think there's a way out. So. That's the end of the run. Wow. Well, we unlocked 174 cards. That's pretty cool. We have five perk points to spend. I mean, it's not bad. For a second run, I'm, I'm not angry about it. All right, that was a that was a hard loss to take, but we will, uh, we will continue in adventure mode. We have a new hero. Thulls, who, let's look at their deck a little bit. So I'm assuming they're very poison-centric, which I'm kind of excited about. They start with a Venom Flask, yeah. Yep, okay, I like this. I like the idea of having kind of a poison hero. I think, I kind of want to go two scouts. So I think, can I, is that something I can do with the party? Can I... Yeah, we're gonna go. We're gonna go double scout. I like Evelyn a lot, but I want to. Uh, I want to try that out. And now, do I? Is this the screen where I do my level ups? Looks like it is. Okay. So over here, we have five to spend. I like the idea of getting a, sh a point in shield, and that opens up the third tier, so we can pick up more healing. And. More initial energy. Ooh, okay. More initial energy seems quite seems quite strong. Okay. Oh wait. Confirm assignments. Okay. Ah, oh, there's skins in the game. Very good. Very good. So let's see. So we we picked up some speed. Well, we picked up some. Yeah, we did pick up some speed here. But over here. We, 
I think we like picking up a poison. Did we already have this poison? We might have already had this poison. Let's get the next level of health. I think that's a good idea. Then we can grab that and that. Wait, ooh, what is what is this? Regeneration. So this improves regeneration. We might want to go back and find a way to get that on our other friend, though. You have two left. We like initial energy, I think. Stealth is kind of interesting on you, but are we... At the end of your turn, suffer bleed. So we have Fury there. I don't know if we have a Fury deck concept available. Oh, we already picked up that. We already picked up slashing. We already picked up initial energy. Let's uh, let's grab let's grab stealth. Okay. Did we already do Magnus? I don't think we did. All right. So Magnus here, definitely more speed. Oh, we can't get more speed. Leave that one. Then we've already got these. So what is this? Crack, blunt. No. Initial energy seems... I think initial energy is like an auto take on, on everybody is the way I feel about it. Oh, these are cost three. Hold on. So maybe we don't do that. So we can do... Another one of those. Oh. Interesting. Okay. We'll, we'll do it this way. Uh, we're not quite to the point of getting... I guess in... Oh, yeah. We picked up this one. So we can't quite get to the next speed one. So we'll grab that. And then Thulls here. Oh, I guess we could do you 2 couldn't we? Since we're, we know the plan. Right now we're going... We're building fire. So... She does have kind of a shadow angle as well. I think that I think doing fire and frost might be a bit of a mistake. Maybe we want to go we want to go deep. I'm just not sure if we can. What is this? Powerful? We'll grab powerful and we will grab the last tier of health. Health seems important. We'll, we'll come back to all of this eventually, but let's see about you. So we know you're going to be a poison user. Our, let's look at your deck for a second. Whoops, where is basic cards? Oh, card backs, never mind. Uh, can I see your deck right now? So initially you have Viper Strike, Poison Dart. These are both... It's like melee, you look like you're melee and front rank. So let's, we'll grab that. We'll grab, grab health, physical. Do you, actually, was there shadow stuff? Hold on, uh, except. No, I don't see any, I don't see any shadow. So let's, we'll do slashing health resistance could be good yeah I don't see anything there I don't necessarily see anything here either his level cards have shadow you think that that made sense thematically to me so maybe I'll just pick it up just since we need to pick up something then we'll definitely get the poison Blunt damage, plus one per taken. Uh, maybe there's some bleed stuff. Get a bit more health, then we can get slashing and sharp. We have two left, so we're not going to get to the next poison tier. That's seeming evident, but we'll grab, we'll grab more energy. 
I do think more HP is generally a good thing. All right, that'll be enough to get us started on our next run. We're going double scout on this run. Let's see what that's all about. It all started on the princess. All right, we will we'll definitely claim our chest so that we are we are rich. We don't have a lot of things that we can do with you because we. I wonder if we do a divination if we. 30% chance to dispel is interesting. This is going to be basically worthless to us. You already have... You have combat bandages. We could give someone dirty bandages. I'm not sure. You already have... You have poison flask though, so it won't be you. We only have the bunny pet. We really like the bunny pet here. So we'll definitely put the bunny pet on our tank. Spyglass doesn't seem that useful to me. For extra HP, we'll put that on, let's put that on Reginald just to make them a little more tanky. That's about all I'm seeing here, though. And then I think we are going to go for the same thing that we went for last time. Oh, you can save and load decks. That's nice. So we can we can set things up the way that we like them. Wait, is the, where is the place where we buy? Oh, do I have a filter selected? I have a filter selected. They should reset filters between... Uh, between times. I think we'll buy we'll buy out the deflects just because those seem exceptionally good. Then I don't know that we're going to a poison place again. I really like the shadow men's. So I think I'm gonna pick those up. I think I think we want Yeah, we got one pet, but uh, we it seems like there's some, some complexity to getting more pets, so we're going to have to wait and see. I like the binding heal. I'm going to grab one of those. Where's the, where's the dispel? Dispel magic. Let's get one of those. Then that's going to be, that's going to be it for Reginald. We can't, we can't get a lot of things. Oh, you have deflect too. Kind of can't say no to deflects. Ah, so scout cards are scared, or, or wait, scout cards are shared across heroes? Is this, is, are these two? The up ah, that's useful too. Okay. Can, can I buy the upgraded version immediately? It looks like I can, right? Oh, that's interesting. That's handy if I'm planning on upgrading things. That's very useful. Uh, so we should have available on all the time, I think. So, so Thols looks like they are a different deck that is based on the same, based on the same set of cards. These are the scout cards and they will always be the scout cards. So we don't have a lot to, a lot to switch up. What do I not like in your deck? The dual strikes were awfully good. I feel like they... I feel like we're going full poison here, maybe? Maybe not. Toxic Rain is kind of an interesting one. So let's, let's look at all the poison cards. So now we know how to do this. We go filter, we go poison, we apply. So these are all of the available cards. So Blade Fury is kind of good as like a, a dump, as is Plague Shot. I really liked Plague Shot. It seemed like it was doing a lot of work for us. But we went slashing on you. So we're probably better off doing Blade Fury. Yeah, let's buy, let's buy two of those. We should have bought them upgraded because we're gonna do that anyways. 
Let's see, then over here... The filters, the filters are a little awkward to, to get around, but I really love barricades. Oh yeah, let me... Alright, well, I'll, I'll... I'll get them and then we'll figure out how to upgrade them. And then... Sharing is caring was interesting. Shake it off, headbutt. I didn't love headbutt. Cleave was interesting, but not insane. Why does it say grant? What does that mean? Does that mean that every turn you gain one thorns, maybe? I don't, I don't think there's anything else here that I'm, like, losing my mind for. So we can we can hold off on that one. Ammunition is kind of interesting. Maybe we get the plague shots here. Because I don't mind having poison on two heroes. Like, I think it synergizes to have more poison. Uh, in fact, where's the... Oh, can I not buy the really high level cards? It looks like, oh, okay, I can't. Okay, so I can't get the one that triples things. So I picked up some men's here. I think we've, I think we've picked up all the things I really wanted to, except maybe I should get one more dispel. Just, just so I have it. And then we are going to be removing some stuff. Yeah, I don't think I don't think we need any of that. You've picked up a few things. Rapid fire was a pretty good ability for you. I'm gonna pick up the poison shots. Because I, I think we are going for kind of like a poison build. And we're gonna go like melee poison here, ranged poison here. Let's uh let's remove some cards now. Wrong place for removing cards. Yeah, we got Plague Shots, we got Poisonous Shots. I don't think we can remove three Aim Shots. All right, that puts us that puts us at the minimum. Now up here, it strikes me as like, so I don't know if small weapons are good or not yet, but I think, do we like Viper Strike or Dual Strike more? Dual Strike is a lot of damage, so I don't think we can get rid of that. We picked up two Blade Furies, and we have an Ambush. I don't think we're going Stealth, so I'm going to remove the Ambush. Well, we do have two Blurs to try to make that work. I actually don't know what to remove here. Like, I think the Viper Strikes are pretty weak, but I don't like losing the Poison. The poison darts are just nice and free. How does how does this upgrade? Oh, these viper strikes are only front monster. I'm gonna get rid of them. We'll see. That that may be a that may be an error, strategically speaking. Uh, but we'll we'll find better cards down the road. Now up here, flash goes, flash goes, flash goes. And then I think also I don't like the I don't like the foresights very much. I don't really care for them. And then if you if I were you, remove Oops, almost removed my my like best card in the hand. Okay, so now now to be smart, I'm going to save this deck. Uh Cuz the the thought is is that oops this is going to be uh, ranged slash poison. So this way, if we go for another run, we won't uh, we won't have the problem. Uh, it's not melee poison. It's it's really just poison. And then heals. I like that they have these saves because that would be that was a lot of work that we just did there. 
Small weapons are not considered an attack. It's a strange mechanic. Interesting. Okay, so let's see. So I think... I think the barricades are a high value upgrade here. And then... The plague shots are interesting. I kind of want to get... The ruptures get a lot more flexible, which is nice. Oh, these are front monster too. I'm going to make these any monster, I think. Ooh, that's very expensive. Maybe not. So we got our barricades upgraded. We're not going to get a lot of upgrades, I'm, I'm realizing now. Uh, so many deflects here. Yeah, I don't like... Thulls is not going to have a lot of flexible damage. So I'm going to get these dual strikes to at least be... Targetable. Then Shadow Mend, I wanted to do more damage and do more healing. So I will get those going. And then how does this... It grants a buffer or three to spell. Three to spell seems like a big upgrade. So I might think about that. The poison shots, we can... The ruptures should probably go. In fact, maybe we should do... Maybe we should find something else to buy. We have quite a bit of... Oh, we buy cards with, sh with shards too. So there's not a lot of options there. I was thinking we could pick up like... Maybe pick up an ammunition and drop a rupture. I think that could be smart. And then I am going to resave this. Oh, I can't I can't save over it. Hmm. I guess I I guess I have to delete and then resave as ranged. All right. Can't quite upgrade the rupture. Can't upgrade the plague shots. We could upgrade one of these. No, not necessary. I'd like to get our healing rain upgraded, but I guess that's not a not a yet thing. Wow, enrage does get a lot better. Blur is a low level one. Ah, uh, still not low enough level. I liked I liked the upgrade on barrier. I don't like that it's a heal there, but we'll do we'll grab one barrier upgrade. Okay, and I think we're pretty much good except for equipment, which I don't think we saw much good for equipment. We can give you soap. That's fine, I think. Give you a scholar's robe. We're, we're gonna have more money than we know what to do with here, I think. So, all right, we'll do that for now. We already got the pet. I guess there was a reroll button. Sure, we'll give it one reroll. Not to not to go too greedy. Leather boots plus one speed. That's a nice, that's a nice grab. And then more HP for our tank would be nice, but is not that necessary. You're going to be doing more damage, but you already have something. So we'll grab. You're actually three sharp for you at combat start is pretty, seems pretty interesting. Oh, it replaces the, t the flask though, which is not good. So I'll get you the gloves, because you can't take the gloves. All right, we'll call it there. We'll keep a thousand just in case. Uh, we could also do a fast divination, but I don't think we need to. All right, uh, and then town upgrades, nothing available. All right, so 
We no longer have a hero along the top path, so we should go pick one of these. We could go to the Crumbling Tower. We could go down here. This has a rare book along it. Oh, this one has... Oh, okay, so here's our path. We go this way, then we go to this, then this, then this, and we'll get the pig. All right, some sheepies. Bah! Bah! <laughs> I like these sheep a lot. Uh, let's see. Poison kills at the end of turn, so let's just let's just finish that up. That was a very strong start, though. Plus three energy. We go all the way up to five energy. That's pretty sick. Uh, requires stealth, so we should start with this. Okay, that was pretty good. We didn't quite get all the way there, but I'm seeing the I'm seeing the way. Okay, we unlocked a new card. We have Expose Armor, interesting, and Song of Celerity. So let's see. So punch that or Blade Storm. No thanks. I'll grab a poison shot because it replaces a rupture for us. Uh, nothing there looks good. Shield of Warding is kind of interesting. What about delay response? It slows someone down, but it gives them an energy in that. I bet this could be used to some interesting effect. I want to. I want to play around with it. I want to see if I can like live update things. Now we have the main road quest: the lost sheep. You see a small sheep running towards you and away from a group of sheep that look angry. The poor sheep hides behind you, seeking shelter from the other sheep that were chasing her. And you notice that this sheep has a necklace uh, with her name, Betty. On the necklace, it also says the owner's address, Eastern Farmland. The other sheep are likely to attack you if you don't walk away. Uh, you can try to return her to her owner. We will do the combat. After the fight, you will have to cross the field to the north to be able to return Betty to her owner. That might change the path I wanted to take, but say la vie. Ooh, I could have played ammunition first and then drawn what I got from that. That would have been that would have been smart. Yep. That would have been that would have been the way to go. That's why we love barricades, for sure. What was the name of that card? Awful Tantrum. Love it. Woolly, woolly, woolen shield or woolly shield. I didn't actually see which. Did I buy Divine Grace or did I just remove that super early last time? So if I do that, I slow myself down. So I guess I play later next time. Blade Fury. I'm, I'm starting to regret picking up the Blade Furies, I think. I wasted my stealth there. 
To me, that's a very funky mechanic that your uh, that your stealth goes away when you play a new card. I kind of get it. The the purple here also immediately I'm like, ooh, purple, but it's just it's just an upgrade. These we're not interested in. That's fine. I do like rapid fire. I'll grab that and then stone skin. No, I don't think so. Ray of Hope. Dispel those. Grant Courage, which is a bit of a resist. And it's a heal. All right, well, we can replace... It's basically an upgrade on our heal. So, so they were saying the lost sheep returned Betty to her owner near the eastern farmland. Betty's house. So we'd have to go up this way to do Betty. So we give up on this. So we go boom, 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 boom. All right, we'll do we'll do Betty. Presumably it's a it's a something. Colorful puddle. Plus one damage. Plus fifteen HP. Blob to all monsters' hands. Each hero will be able to remove a card. Party will gain access to a rare equipment shop. We have a bunch of money, so let's do rare equipment shop. We'll keep blur, we'll let go of we'll let go of that. What's the first target here? I think we can like literally kill this. So I guess I'll work on the I'll work on that sheep. So ambush is just a bunch of damage, so we should probably not waste it on the sheep. I think we can kill the sheep regardless. Oh, blur costs money. Oh, so they get pets. Interesting. That's what the blobs mean. Okay. I guess we should play our deflects first. I think with this, uh, oh, we can't rapid fire too. Okay. Oh, it's random monsters. That's unfortunate. All right, I think we're better off focusing our damage to make progress here. Now, Blade Fury is front monster only. We have three, so we do that again into that again. Because we're getting a little bit of value out of... Uh... Getting a little bit of value out of going stealth, I think. We can do this because you're still you'll still be fast enough, I think. Mm -hmm. Let me just put the damage in. Alright, and this should be this should be the kill. We'll get a great performance.
Oh, actually, I wanted to try this combo out. So if I do ammunition, get the shrapnel shot, draw it with deflect. Ooh, all right, all right. That's a thing. Okay, an upgraded intercept. We probably will have like a removal. So I, it's better than, we have an intercept now that we're not using. Uh, Vigilant, no, no, no. That's a no. That's a no. Another Shadow Mend is just better than a heal, I think. Okay, rare items shop. Let's get some good stuff here. 50% chance to dispel. We have the soap, which is a 30% chance to dispel. Scroll of Resurrection. That seems quite interesting. So Vitality is increase max HP. We don't have a ring here, so we could do the Garnet ring. Scroll of Resurrection seems very, very strong. Replace the combat bandages with it? I don't know about that. Helmet seems a little like it's immediate. 100% success in a single character event roll. Hmm. Interesting. So you have nothing. So we can we can do this, which is... It's an upgrade. Nobody has a potion slot. The four-leaf clover is better. So I guess I'll, I'll just upgrade that. You have relatively low HP. Mm, I don't know about that. Kind, kind of underwhelmed by most of this. I don't think we want anything else. All right. We'll call it there. How do I exit the shop? Just escape? Yes. Is the garnet earring good? Actually, you have nothing here. Let's get let's get vitality on you. I think that's probably a good idea. All right. We'll call that we'll call that good. Oh. That didn't that didn't go where I expected it to. Off to Betty's house we go. A suspicious hatch. I wonder if that means we're not going to be able to go down that way. Uh, Betty returns safely. You arrive at the eastern farmland with Betty intact. When the farmer approaches, you say, Oh, you found Betty. Thank you so much, strangers. Uh, even being so small, she's my favorite sheep, and I won several local contests with her. I wonder how she got away. I don't have much gold, but you might be interested in hearing a rumor as to where the legendary golden sheep might be. Uh, you ask for the golden legendary sheep, uh, you ask for some gold, whatever they can spare, you ask for 500 gold, you offer 500 gold to keep Betty for yourself, or you kill the farmer uh, and keep Betty for yourself. We'll, uh, we'll try bargaining. Let's see if we can get keep Betty for ourselves. I want to see if this is a pet. Uh, Farmer thinks about it for a while after making uh, cost profit calculations, agrees to sell Betty for, for 500 before leaving with Betty. He tells you that while he was looking for Betty, he thinks he saw a golden sheep on the grass hill behind the tower. Okay. So, plus six mind resistance, cast card tantrum. Give it to Reginald, I guess. So we have presumably, hopefully, unlocked Betty. So everybody else picks zero gold. All right. So now we have a suspicious hash. We have a grass hill. Uh, so now we have to decide between unlocking another character or going for the golden sheep. I think we're going to go for the character. But first, we're going to go to the Suspicious Hatch, I guess. Come across a house in the uh, in ruins, and inside you see a large hatch. Try to open the hatch, but it's properly closed. A few seconds later, a voice speaks to you through the hatch. Only those touched by the flame. Then the voice remains silent, as if waiting for a passphrase. Uh, you don't know the passphrase, so you leave. Uh, 
We can try to open the hatch in a safer way by jumping on it, 54%. Or we can uh, jump on the hatch and break it. Everyone draws a single card and the results are individual to each character. We'll try... We'll try this. Broken bone. Okay. So we have two broken bones in our deck now, but we have entered the hatch. Silly gatekeepers, uh, you're inside the hatch. Here you can see what a fur at first glance seems to be a normal basement, but at the end of the room you can see a door with three pigmen keeping watch. They are new to this place and don't seem very excited about having to stand guard. In fact, one of them is lying down and almost asleep. The other two don't seem to be very smart either, but they could raise an alarm depending on how you approach. So, act as if you are one of them and go ahead. That's a 47% chance. Uh, intimidate them, very low chance. Let's just do combat here, I think. I think we'll be okay. Let's see, we don't have ammunition, so we're just gonna deflect our way to victory. We have five, so I think we're gonna do a plague shot. The rapid shot is random. Is feeling really bad. Alright. Yeah, I don't like that very much. Probably should have saved. We didn't need that much block. That was an excessive amount of block. Oh, should have sneak peeked. That was... The poison wasn't going to get the kill there, so I decided to do it that way. Okay, the, we, got, we got Bernie pigs, apparently. Okay, that did not dispel. That was that was that supposed to? Oh, it only dispels those two. Noted. All right. Yes, yeah, so I'm realizing that Mark does have a nice like larger synergy. Requires stealth. We're not going to have that. We'll do we'll do volley. <laughs> Don't want the Blade Furies. They turn out they're too expensive. Maybe we're going to eventually figure out how to make that work. Let's see. Dispel. So we do that. That gives us stealth. Just have enough to do that. Oh, they heal too. Okay. Noted. Okay, remove that. Okay. Can't even use the, uh, can't even use the volley, unfortunately. Yeah, 
Yeah, I'm wondering if, if fast attacks are better here. Probably could have just gotten the kill with Rend there. That was probably a, a mistake. But I guess we got the kill anyways. Everybody's full, so... Ooh, still unlocking cards. That's exciting. Oh, there's a version of Detoxify that removes Bleed, too. Kind of like that. None of these for you. Hmm. Kind of got the wrong ones in both directions. Sweeping Strike. Hits for 14 and then the target's on either side. I don't mind that card. That seems good. So let's see. We have Stone Statue or the Pit. Let's check out Stone Statue. Rare Equipment Shop or Money. We'll go Rare Equipment Shop. Uh, plus one damage. Sure. These uh these challenges are really interesting. I I do I do like that dynamic. Okay, we have seven, so I'm gonna assume that I mean the imp looks like well, we do this and it's just whoever it hits, we'll see what, what progress we make. I don't think we need to play that last defend. That's too many defends. Okay, so this doesn't require stealth, so we should start with a dual strike, then we play Killer Instinct, then we play another dual strike. I think we play the poison dart first, and then we play the blur so that we're hidden. Okay. Healing rains would be exceptionally good right now. Bah. Amazing. Alright, that gets rid of that gets rid of all the fire. Any bleed or poison? No, not really. Should should have played the deflects first, obviously. But And then we're hoping we can get the kill with our uh, with our assassin. Ooh, we lost uh, we lost that. We have four actions. Do we think ambush is better than blade fury? This ignores block, but we don't really need that right now. We can probably. I think this is probably better. Yeah. Smoke bomb. Okay. Good stuff. Still unlocking cards, which is amazing to me. Look at six, discard any of them. Tune up. At some point, we're going to have to do like a bard style run on the scout. I'm liking dual strikes in your deck. Fanaticism is interesting, but... I don't think it's what we're looking for. Yeah, we need to keep our eye out for uh, for that, for sure. I think that's a good call. Trace being free. If this had a draw associated with it, 
it would be very interesting, but as it stands, I don't think any of those work for us. Okay, let's, let's have something awesome in here, please. Feeling like the answer is there's nothing awesome. Merchant badge, I might, I might mess with. I don't think we need all this healing, so I'm gonna grab merchant badge because the the discount seems good. Hunting ring, also very interesting because we get extra charges of mark. I like the idea of that. Uh, I like the necklace just to get our speed up here. Okay. Magic Tome, plus one all damage when you play a spell, draw a card. I don't think we, I, I guess it could have worked on Reginald, but I'm not planning on doing a lot of damage casting and it, it only really procs on spells, which only Reginald would be using uh, Industrious, but uh, interesting idea. How do I, oh, this is the exit button I wanna be pressing. All right, Stone Statue, what do we got going on here? At the end of the hall, you find a large stone statue of an imp. Although the placement of the statue is suspicious, it's clear that it is used as an altar of some kind. You found imps before wandering around freely, and this statue may have something to do with it. Examine carefully and see if you find some to find something useful. Forty-six percent. Smash the statue so it can no longer be used. Higher chance. We're gonna we're gonna examine it. We're not brutes. It's a fifty-fifty. Failure. All right. You notice some small loose stone. Upon closer examination, you discover that the stones are buttons, but it's too late. You've already pressed some of them in the process. A secret door opened behind the statue, but it also activated the altar, which summons imp to summon an imp. Okay, so we have to fight an imp. That's probably fine. Okay, you are you appear to be immune to poison. Okay. Noted. I do like that ability. That that sweeping strike is surprisingly impactful. Okay, we're already stealthed, so this thing's probably gonna summon imps. So we may need to start working on it, doing some damage. I think it's still probably wise to be putting damage in on the imps. <laughs> nice ba, Sheepo, my friend. Let the record show I'm not convinced that the that the sheep's name is Sheepo. That was a uh, perhaps an incorrect one. We have a lot of dispel magics. We haven't taken any damage, so I think we're good. You're gonna summon an imp, right? And you'll make the imps faster, okay. okay. So we probably want to focus there if we can. Now, who did I give the hunting ring to? You have the hunting ring. So this is an even better mark. We have enough for both, so I'll do that. And then we'll hope that we hit it some. Wow, okay, nice. For now, Blade Fury is not that interesting because of who's in front. I'll let Blur go, and I don't think we need the poison darts that much. Love seeing the barricade. I'm going to stop this guy from acting. I think that's probably better than the alternative, and then I'll toss that there. Okay, so we, I think we blur into a sneak peek into a Blade Fury. Might as well play the Deflects. We definitely need 
We d we're definitely struggling a bit on that part, though. Hmm. Bad ba. So this is this is safe. Uh, it was not safe. Just kidding. Everybody's full, so we're not getting anything out of these heals. We'll just stack up more. We do seem to need, like, a mana dump, probably. All right, so we ammunition to get... We can't play this. Uh, with adrenaline, we can play this. Sure. It's a lot, a fair amount of aggregate damage. I think that's probably okay. Delay response into dispelling? Oh, that's clever. Yeah, I like that. That's a good call. We're finally going to have some da some healing to do. Amazing. Let's see. Blur. Is it worth blurring into dual striking? Probably not. Well, with sneak peek, I think it might be. Didn't want to waste the poison. That was it was only two damage that this was gonna do. Good goodbye. There we go. Okay, we unlocked a new card. Eternal lullaby. Someday, someday stanza. Helping hand, no. I don't think we want any of those, so that's a no. Quick shot. Front monster deal eight damage for free. I could I could see that being interesting. Another dual strike. I think we'll be able to reduce our cards here pretty substantially. And then bulk heal. So bulk heal this time is equal to your discard pile times three. That seems like it's gonna be a pretty big heal. Yeah, let's grab that. Okay, so we go. We get to go in through the secret passage into the secret room. An ephemeral potion. A secret door takes you to a room with a large chest. You open the chest to find some items that might be useful. Among them, a bright orange potion catches your eye. As soon as you take the potion out of its chest, its contents begin to disappear. You don't know what it is, uh, if it is drinkable, but there's no time. Only one can drink it before it completely vanishes. I'm gonna have uh, I'm gonna have our new guy drink it. When you drink the potion, you notice your body warming up. After a brief moment, you feel a surge of energy within you. Your body temperature drops again. You do not know exactly uh, what happened, but you believe this phenomenon will repeat itself again. Uh, okay, so this gives us a free thing that dispels fire, gives us energy and resistance. Ooh, okay, that's nice. Probably would have been better on the tank in hindsight, but that's okay. And we get some items. So right now you have some leather boots, which that's pretty decent. We could give a crystal ball to someone. We don't, nobody has leather armor at the moment, right? The agate amulet. Do we already have one of those? Piggy bank? Don't care about that. Round shield. We kind of struck out here. We can definitely... We can definitely give someone the crystal ball, but we're hoping to replace it soon. Then for the ring slot, everyone has, well, okay. So you, I'm gonna give the agate, just so you have a bit more HP. Then for armor, everybody has some armor. Everybody has a potion of some sort that is probably better. You can have the crystal ball, I guess. And then 70 and 70. All right. All right. So, oh, we have level ups to do. Uh, we like Wolfguard a lot, I think. Someday I'll build Magnus more aggressive. So Subterfuge is stealth charges plus one when damaged by others gain one stealth and two speed or black talons. 
self-targeted, uh, poison and that plus two, deal eight, apply one. I like black talons. That sounds fun. Sounds fun and, and like what we're looking for. I'm surprised our heroes leveled up at a different speed, but that's okay. Summoning ritual. Reach the end of the basement. Here you can see many cultists in a summoning circle. The summoning has begun, and from the number of cultists, it does not seem like just a normal imp will show up. They... They become aware of your presence near the ritual, and some cultists leave the circle to confront you. Cultists look at you suspiciously, waiting for an answer. Tell them you're new here and uh, help them with the ritual, or draw our weapons and strike first. I think if you do character-specific events instead of team ones, you get more XP than the rest. Oh, interesting. Okay, I mean, let's pretend. What's this will be funny. <laughs> Fail. All right. The fight begins. That's okay. We tried our best. Okay, we like we like a barricade. We like some damage there. We like enrage. We like I think we I think we like wolf guard. And then we can hack you. All right. Okay, don't mind that. We probably won't get the kill, but that's okay. Let's let's deflect. So black talons plus blade fury, I think, is insane. We have five right now. I think we blur into black talons. Black talons blur than blade fury. Let's try it out. Nice. And then we still have a poison dart that's going to do a bunch of poison damage. That seemed exciting. Does look like they're they're self healing, so we may uh, they may not all die. Oh, something of an imp is annoying. Uh, healing rain would be super clutch here. Nice shot, Sheepo, McSheeperstein. No healing rain. We can we can dispel here though. Ammunition into... We have two energy, so barrage isn't happening. Only burning shot, I think, is happening here. Well, wait. Oh, we have adrenaline. So we could do lethal shot. This seems pretty cool. Could we do barrage? I think we could if we wanted to. So this is 14 damage. Apply that three times. We could probably zap the middle guy completely with barrage. That'll be at least interesting. Oh, that was cool. Okay. We didn't get the, the back lady sorted out, but we should have some dual strikes on hand to, to take her down. Okay, not bad. We have no bleeds, so this isn't going to do us any good. I think we we have enough armor, so we do that. All right, probably not ideal because we we should have done the debuff, or we should we should have done the dispel on 
on ourselves. All right, but we we live to fight another day. Skull splitter. I don't think. I don't think that's in the card for cards for us, especially since it's front monster only. That feels very hard to justify. Hey, by the way, uh, oh, is is Twitch having issues at the moment? Hey, uh, Kunjano in uh, in Kickland, by the way, and then also Leechen. Hello and welcome. Sawtooth knife? No, I don't think so. Uh, one more Shadow Mend I'll take. We're going to be removing a lot of our regular heals, is my plan. So we will see. Okay, so let's see. Can I do my level ups now? All right, let's do that. Wild Hunt. We get, we got the Hunter's Ring. So let's do Wild Hunt. I think that's going to be very interesting. We're going to go like Mark Synergy there. We'll go, we'll go Focused Healing here as well. Okay, so the ritual ended. Room filled up with red smoke and the temperature rose rapidly. You don't know if uh, it went well or not, but all the remaining cultists uh, start to flee in panic after realizing what they've done. An impressive imp appears before you. It's the greater demon Belfior, the lord of imps. Uh, what do you want from me, mortal? Although he, uh, he's been weakened by the precarious summoning conditions, you can't underestimate him. So we can leave 66%. Uh, he is weakened. Now is a good chance to attack. Or... Uh, maybe there's something we can do for you. I think we, uh, I think we fight the, fight the imp, the imp boss. Fool. That's a lot of hit points, but I think, I think the fact that we have poison might be, uh, to our benefit. Or this might end badly. We have four, I think we do two poison shots here. Okay, so Blade Fury seems like the seems like the play here. This would allow us to do two Blade Furies, or we could do a Black Talon. Hmm. So wait, so how do we want to start this? We want to start this probably by using. I think we I think it's just killer instinct into double blade fury. I think Black Talons, while nice, doesn't quite Oh wait, we can do both, can't we? No, we're only at six. So yeah, so I, I think we just we just do this twice. Sad that we didn't get to use black talons, but twenty-seven poison is is nothing to sneeze at. Yeah, I, I kind of figured he was going to be summoning imps, but that's okay. Let's see, you're vulnerable, so we can we can dispel that. I think we like we keep doing work there. We're, we're we're slow, so having a little like rollover is probably good. Let's see. <laughs> we don't we don't know if we're gonna get any value out of Wild Hunt, I fear. When you play a card for every energy used, apply one to a random monster. I guess we I guess we still go for it. Get rid of that. Alright, well, it was an okay turn. Okay, deflect. So we have four energy. I think two dual strikes is better than a blur into a sneak peek into a dual strike. Yeah. 
Hmm. Lord of the Imps, we're uh, we're doing some work on him so far. Hmm. Certainly, certainly, you just put a lot of things in our deck. It seems. Can I get healing rains to remove all the burn, please? No. No, I can't. I can't do much. I, th I think I, I think nuking is the correct, the correct play there. So we'll do that. We'll do that. Okay, quick shot's not going to do much good. Neither is. I guess we get rid of that, but we don't. Uh, we don't make it all the way. You have three energy. Oh, these are the non-upgraded dual strikes. That's unfortunate. He just, he's just dead, although not before chunking us down pretty good. Okay, we got an achievement for killing Belfior. Repeat four times. in With the sharpening thing, Pummel could be insane. I'll grab that backstab. Back monster, 20 damage, apply that. I kind of like backstab. Uh, I, like, I like a binding heal, but I also like Omen of Peril. And then blunt damage isn't increased by sharpness. Good point, uh, Stumbles. Good point. I would have uh, I would have made that mistake for sure. Okay, we loot the basement. We get some shards. We get some equipment, and presumably we're gonna get an equipment handout here. Okay. Searing dagger plus one to all of those. Shuffle a Searing Blast into your deck. Oh, interesting. Okay. Uh, so you you can get Soap for the upgrade. Do we have anything better that we want? Uh, Silver Chalice is an easy one. It goes over here. Then I think I put the Dagger here. Why not? Then I think we'll go, we'll go Soap here. And then I'm tempted to put Reinforced Armor here over the... Ranger armor. Because we'll probably see another one of them. Cloak of Evasion is also interesting. But I don't think it, it lasts very long. So I'm just going to go more HP. Now, I'm worried about where we're going to come out of this. I think we're pro we've are we probably missed our opportunity to unlock a, a hero. No, we haven't. How nice. Okay. So we'll go to the Altar Rubble. And then we'll go start the quest for whoever this is. What What is this floaty thing? Bayfor's Horn. Uh, this is the Horn of the Great Demon. Someone may want this powerful item. Okay, so we'll come down. We'll come down here to the altar. Discover the rubble of an ancient altar. Uh, those altars are used for making offerings with magic shards to improve your skills. The altar appears to have been destroyed on purpose, and perhaps those who did so are still nearby. This altar is barely usable, and in order for the offering to work, you'll have to offer an additional amount of shards. Using the altar in its current condition will cost you a little more. So we can repair it, 75%. Uh, do not make an offering, but try to restore the altar to its former state. That's a 35%. Ah, uh, let's try and repair it. We have not been rolling well. Uh, I don't think I'm going to upgrade anything. We, I don't think we need to. We'll save our money. All right. What is this here? The Last Sentinel. You arrive at the crumbling watchtower. Uh, this watchtower was the first point of defense in the wolf wars against the wild werewolves of the west. Or of the forest. Should have been Wild Werewolves of the West. Uh, when you enter the tower, uh, your eye catches the dim light and filters uh, under the rubble. It's a golem. Uh, they were the best defenders Cynthia has ever known, but they were dismantled after the war, and it was thought that there was no more left. The power supply seems to be damaged. Maybe if you can find a replacement, you can repair it. 
Let's see. I fought alongside one in the Wolf Wars. It was a good idea to restore it. Yeah, we'll do this. I remember how the queen assigned one of these to my group. Uh, they are fighting to take back the forest. It was a real battle machine. It helped us a lot. If I'm not mistaken, these golems originate from the Black Forge in the Velcroth Mountains. We should look uh, there for replacement core. Uh, as you hide the golem so that it does not suffer any more damage, you find some magical shards. Okay. All right. We're going, we're going to the horn thing. Story time. In the forest, you found a large open space that seems like the perfect place to rest for a bit before continuing your journey. As you go to set up camp, you notice a group of werewolves camping. They see you and offer to share the camp. One of them also says, hey, do you want to share some stories from your travels uh, with us while you rest? Do you want to share some stories? So let's see. So this is a defense card. Has to be drawn. So tell them how you defeated the greater demon Bayfor. I think I want to do this one. Yeah, let's do this one. Uh, you speak of the battle with the greater demon, uh... Before showing his horn as evidence, they are really impressed with you and tell you their own story. Uh, they discovered that the Dryads have a large stash uh, in forest deeps where they keep all of their I the items of dead adventurers who are lost in the forest. Uh, you rest for a while before continuing. Okay. So we can still come up and do Yogger. Can we? Yeah, we could still do Yogger if we wanted to. That seems like the best. That seems like the best path to maximize our value because we gain stuff from doing that. So let's. I'm presuming that neither of these have like a quest marker. Oh, Forest Deeps. Wasn't that where they said the items are kept? You have located the legendary golden sheep. The last sentinel. That's the one, yeah. So we should we should come down here and try Forest Deeps, right? That's the continuation of the Bay Four. We've already done Yager. So we'll we'll come down here. We have a shop here. Uh, the werewolf stall. You come to a large stone arch in the middle of the forest. At one side of the arch, you see a stall run by a werewolf. You approach and say, hi. Hey, hey. Finally, customers. Come close. Look at my wares. Half of these items come from the bandits. I'm sure there is something interesting you might need. Oh, by the way, I didn't kill that boy over there. He was already dead this morning when I came to the stall. All right, so let's see. So we have draw skill card 12%. That's a bad idea. 35 or 66. So we can bargain, try and get a discount. Accuse him of killing the boy. You want a big discount. Uh, okay. Or buy his wares. So if this one fails, it's probably bad, but it's over 50%. So we'll try it out. We have terrible luck this run. Holy cow. Let's see. Uh, so we, ooh, we have leather boots. So we'll buy these leather boots to... Get the upgrade. Now, plus two speed. Awesome. Then we also have the reinforced armor, which we can pick up. Is there anything else we're interested in before I commit to this? No, I think we're I think we're good. The only other thing I'm eyeing is this Morning Star, which increases range damage. Nice. Yeah, so we could grab this for the range damage, and that would be way better than the Crystal Ball. Sure, let's spend our money. We're... We're spending a lot of money, but I think it's probably for the best. Forest Deeps. Okay, so this is where the, the Dryads keep their stuff. You have a ton of hit points now. That's good for business. Can try and get this lady roasted, I think. Are Plague Shots just strictly better than Poison Shots? No, our Poison Shots, I think, are actually better. Well, I mean, this is doing 15, this is doing 15. But this comes with less poison and then more decay. Oh, yeah, the decay might have been handy. All right, so we got Backstab which is interesting. 
We don't have a great turn for Talons right now, so we should probably start with the Sneak Peek. This, we keep our stealth when we do this, so I guess we, we do this, because if we play Black Talons, then we lose our stealth. Oh, are we, this is 53. Maybe we should just do Ambush. We could zap you completely. Sure. Let's just, yeah, let's just delete you. And then we might as well still play this, even though it's kind of, it's kind of a waste to, it's we're not going to redraw it anyways. Hey, Thorfinn. Oh man, that is an incredible adventure. Good to see you. It's been a minute. How uh, how are things other than than life clearly being uh, a very there being some big things afoot? Let's see. I can do. I'll do that. We don't really have any value out of uh, out of that. So I'll just play that, and I guess we're done. Hopefully we, we draw a barricade. Alright, I think we're already invincible, so I'm not going to bother. I'm not going to bother playing the second barricade. That's excessive. I should have played Wild Hunt, or I should have played Expert Tracker before I played my Deflect. That's a... Uh, that's a smart one. Let's see. So for you, I don't think I want that. We'll keep Killer Instinct. I'm going to let go of Blur. Because I, I want to get the Back Dryad dead before, before we go any further. The sheep is is loud. <laughs> Let's see. All right. Didn't quite get the great. We're not. We're not quite in, like, Alpha Strike territory, but we're doing okay. I don't think Repair Armor is that. It might be good. We might run into something that makes it clear. I, I do want another Hunter's Mark, I think, strangely enough. Those I'll skip. And then... Yeah, those I'll skip. All right. Okay, there's some items still in good condition. Dryad's Cash. Uh, you're in the deepest part of the Synthia, uh, Synenthia Forest, and uh, after clearing a path of Trunkies and Dryads, you went exactly where the adventure, adventurers told you. There it is, Secret Cache. Uh, the story was true. It seems that the Dryads used the body of lost adventurers as fertilizer and keep all of their belongings in one place. How lovely of them. Okay. But some interesting things here, clearly. Do we have someone who has dirty bandages? I feel like I got rid of the dirty bandages. Combat starts speed. No, no. I don't think that's worth anything. This ring gains us some speed. We have the emerald necklace at the moment. I think we might want someone else to have more HP though. This is only a two HP increase, but we also get the speed out of it. That could be interesting. Do we want Cloak of Evasion over here? I think it's better. Put that there, and then... Reduce the cost of the highest song spell in your hand. So yeah, loot's not interesting. I think we're, I think we're done. We're certainly gonna have to do some removal at the next town, but it looks like it's time to take on Elmer. We don't need to rest, we're at full HP. 
Try to rest behind the tree. I, I guess we try and just catch him off guard. I don't think it's worth trying to do the ambush with a 34% chance. So we'll do this. Now, I can't remember if he summons stuff. Call that good. Okay, let's get something awesome. 12 damage, yeah. Ooh, this ricochet looks interesting. Now, I want to see if I can force us to draw one more card. So I want Adrenaline. So I'm going to do that. And I'm going to play the last Deflect. And we do get it. Okay, that's cool. Okay. I'm, I'm thrilled about that. Okay. We love getting... We love getting Killer Instinct. Shouldn't have wasted my... Uh... I'm not sure if I'm... I may be wasting my time by killing these... Uh, these Dryads before we, uh, before we go any further, but... Kind of a dead draw here since everybody's full on HP. So, yeah, we need to we need to come up with a few damage cards for our healer. Okay. So, we want to quickly dispatch this guy. We only have three energy. Do I just do this and hope that we get the kill? It's very unlikely that we do. 13 and two bleed isn't quite enough. Uh, this does 17, so we'll just zap you that way. All right, and then we'll set up for the... Wait, that didn't kill you? Hello? Clearly I can't count. I thought that said 14 and we were doing 17, but... Really was hoping that the sheep would take this guy out. All right, what is our... We only have three energy, so it's just gonna be that into those two. Wow, that did a lot of damage though. That was not bad. Barricade, sweeping. At least we're gonna have some healing to do. That's the good news. Is that how I wanna say that? Let's see, we'll do that. We're getting a lot of marks stacked up here. It's clear. I think it's clearly a Blade Fury turn, but wow, I wish Black Talons was was a little bit cheaper. This guy does like some crazy moonbeam thing at some point. Maybe, maybe next turn. This does more, or this? This does more, but we take some damage. I'll still do it. Hmm. 
We should have time to get a heal in. You have four energy. No, no draw options here. Should have, uh, should have played the hunter's mark. Nah, I'm just gonna, cause I'm just gonna do, I think double plague shot here. All right. Then we just need to do some healing. Oh, no healing allowed. All right, that's fine. Not the end of the world. Okay, so Furious Slash is new, as is Battle Plan. Draw three, gain an energy, place two cards from your hand on top of your deck. Okay, Battle Plan seems insane. That's true, that is true, Stumble. Uh, or we have Furious Slash. Deal X damage, X is equal to your Fury. Yeah, okay, Battle Plan looks insane. Poison Spray is a ranged attack that on a random monster deals that. I kind of like Poison Spray. I think it fits well with our with our setup. Volley feels a little too expensive. Oh, we can make it cheaper too. I kind of like the idea of a cheaper Poison Spray. Volley does not get cheaper. Sure, we'll do that. Fan of Knives to all monsters deal that. I mean, that is interesting. This fine weakness does become free when upgraded. That's what I was wondering. I don't care that much for the vision, though. Fan of Knives gets more expensive. Renew. Ooh, Renew is really interesting. An Omen of Peril. Reveal three. Fan upgrades do crazy things with Sharp. Yeah, deal X damage and apply X poison, X is equal to your sharpness, but you only get to do it once. That is very interesting. I don't I don't know that we're gonna have, like we still haven't found the sharp buff option. We'll, uh, we'll grab it as, as a maybe. Uh, profane, purge one, deal 22. I was saying that I needed that, but I think Omen of Peril is just insane. It's so good for, for getting us to draw the things that we wanna draw. And then, now we got Elmer stuff. So you, this is a straight upgrade. We didn't take the slippers the last time. Now we have the runestone, that's not interesting. We already have upgraded our, our armor. These are the better gloves. We'll put the better gloves here, I guess. I think this is better. Soap is a 60% chance to dispel plus five max HP. I think thorns regen and more max HP is better. So I will take that. And then 10% extra discount I think is better. So we'll take a hundred gold. All right. Ah, so the obelisk. You find yourself at the obelisk. Uh, we have some choices. This time we're going red portal. Hot air. All right. Because we're following the quest. You cross the portal before you realize that you're in another place. All right. Welcome to Act 2, the mountains of Velk Arath. The group went across the obelisk and in an instant found themselves in another place. One of the mys mysteries of the obelisk is revealed. Uh, they searched for signs that the princess was here. Uh, look to the horizon, there's another obelisk. Cool beans. Nothing specific about the mountains quite yet. So if we're going, if we're doing the last sentinel quest, where the heck is that? I don't even see, is it this here? Is it the character event at the Black Forge? Okay. The big question mark. <laughs> You make it sound so easy. Let's see. Uh, reduce the cost of upgrading cards. Seems like it's good. I think we're going to be doing a fair amount of that. And then we can't do anything else there. So that's it. Over here, I really liked the brigand armor. The brigand armor was insane. Is it worth replacing? The leather boots seem really good also. No, we do upgrade to the brigand armor here, I think. Because that's, that's good. The, the we'll eventually get plus two speed out of it. Uh, we can also get the necklace for more speed. The golden chalice, I think we're immediately replacing Elmer's branch. Ah, uh, we don't have enough money for all of this. 
with Necklace and Bunny. Yeah, I, I think we... But I think this is a big one if we get a second upgrade on it. Maybe we don't... I don't know what else we get from the Emerald Necklace by upgrading. I don't see anything else here that I'm too concerned about. We've unlocked a second pet. I was wondering if we were going to get Asmodee from doing... The, or Flamey from doing the uh, the other one. But... But yeah, so I like the Golden Chalice a lot here. I like the Emerald Necklace, and I like the Brigandine. I think I'm going to start with the Brigandine to replace that. Then, I think the Golden Chalice is the better upgrade, though. Because it also has the potential of being upgraded. We, we have... Potentially put ourselves in a place where we're not going to be able to do much of the removal that I wanted to do. Because removal costs gold, right? Am I remembering that correctly? Yeah, so we're not going to be able to do much removal, which is a little bit bad. Because I, I picked up a fair amount of things that I didn't want to have. But I, I think those were worthy purchases. We're not going to be doing a divination. So the thickest deck right now... If you can drop the Broken Bones, it's good enough. Oh, I forgot all about the Broken Bones. That's... Thank you for reminding me, Stumbles. I had forgotten about that, and that would have been very bad to, uh, to forget. So let's see. So I think... I'd like to get rid of... Oh, there's so much I want to get rid of, but that's just going to have to wait. Let's see. So I'm, I'm going to do upgrades because I don't want to pick up any more cards at this point. Those upgrades don't need much. I'd like to get the Poison Shot upgraded, and that's nice and cheap. Uh, same with the, the Dual Strikes. They become so much more flexible if we do that. These Blade Furies, what's the deal? Oh, targeting them would be so money, but that's quite expensive. Binding Heal, I do want to upgrade. Ooh, 11 and 11 for one seems really good. At some point, we'll level up, and two cost heals isn't that bad, though, so I'm going to go that way with it. Moment of Peril, very expensive to upgrade. What happens to Ammunition? Oh, it becomes innate. Ammunition being innate is, is actually kind of interesting. I think I like that. I wish Black Talons could be upgraded to be free. Oh, you can rem you can make it require stealth and do more. Yeah, the the innate is uh, is a mechanic that I'm familiar with and very excited about. I could make Rend able to target other things, but I don't think that's super important. Oh, the card from ammunition goes directly to my hand. I figured we'd have a deflect in hand. That's good to know. Uh, let's see. So I did this to the blue. These are nice and cheap, and I think that they're nice to have. I'm also going to do the Shadow Men's. Because those those I think are our best heals. What is how do, what does Ray of Hope change? Nah, not interested. Let's see. These Plague Shots. They are expensive, but they're doing a ton of work. I don't want them to be more expensive, though. So I'm going to go give you one of those. Oh, yeah, and the Hunter's Marks, I want to be free. Let's get, let's get those to be free. Because we have a lot of ways. We have a lot of additional mark that we're generating, so I think that's going to be pretty sweet. And then... Are there any cards we think we need? No, not probably not. So let's We're we're desperate for removal. I think that's the That's the dirty little secret here. These dispel magics. I don't care much about buffer. So I think I am gonna get these just to be threes, since I don't really know what we're going into here. And then Anything else little? The blurs? Having the blurs 
use up right now is, is actually, I think, better for us than not. Because it helps clear our, clear us out. Getting this other rupture so we can target it now. We're going to remove that. Oh, another healing rain. I could actually... I could see that for sure. I really liked healing rain last time. Also, I think I want to upgrade my healing rains. Those, those were good upgrades. Right? Yeah, let's let's upgrade those to be just us. At least one of them. There we go. All right, that feels pretty good. Ooh, that is that is very interesting, actually. Uh, that's very interesting. Stumbles. All right, let's uh, let's rock and or roll. Let's uh, let's move onward and upward. Okay, so we want to get to here. And if we go up this way, we can get a character event into this. We miss out on a rare event and a slope event. This cave, any chance it leads to here? <laughs> Probably not. All right, I think we're going to go up this way and we'll catch this character event into the Black Forge. I think that's the best. We missed two rare events, but that's that's kind of life. Living Forest. Monsters gain 25 HP. All damage plus 2. A random monster gains that every turn. Regen and Thorns. Party will get access to an exotic equipment shop. We have no money, though. Each hero will get a free card upgrade. I think a free card upgrade is good, because we have some very expensive to upgrade cards. So let's go ahead and do that. And hopefully this doesn't kill us. Oh, okay, so we do... We do that, and then we're going to place two on top of our deck. We'll put the Fast Strike and the Rend on top of our deck. But then we can Enrage to get one of them. I didn't know which one we were going to get. We have five, so we'll do that. We'll do the Barricade. Hit everybody for a bit, and then just pop that there. Okay, ambush. I think we go. I think we go for the big money here, unless we think that this is more. Nah, I think ambush, dual strike, and then a pair of poison darts on this back guy. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so this is. This looks like it's gonna be pretty optimal for us. So we. We Wild Hunt, we Ammunition. I think we get, we grab Lethal Shot. With four left, are we better off? Are we better off with these two? This is 23 damage here. This has just a ton of poison on it though, so let's do that. We didn't quite get that guy wrecked. But uh, the wolf, wolf guard is doing insane work. Get bad. The the sound on that one is slightly off, I will I will say. Okay, get rid of all your stuff. Spell, Poison, and Bleed. All right, we can do that. There we go. Crazy look. <laughs> Freaking goats. All right. Boom. 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 We got three. So I think 
Oh, Plague Arrow. That kind of ruins things here. Uh, double, I think it's double Plague Shot on one of these two. 17 Thorns is, is getting a little spicy. Blade Fury will do some good work on this guy. Backstab doesn't finish you off. Okay, this will remove your evasion. So then we can backstab to get you killed, maybe? He's not going to die. I can already tell. Oh, he did die. Okay. 22 thorns here is going to be a little interesting to deal with, but we have a lot of healing, so maybe we can make it work. Shield has left the building. I think I want a Blade Fury. I'll just keep the deflect. Just trying to stack up dots. Uh, there is We Don't Have It, though, uh, Industrious, which is not the best. Let's see, we're not... We should do these two first, just to see what. We, this may get a little funky. I mean, if nothing else, maybe our, our sheep will single-handedly get the kill. <laughs> Is that, that's probably the darkest timeline. Uh, Oh wait, does, does Reginald take damage when the sheep hits? I did not notice that, if that's the case. Uh, let's see, so... Yeah, this is, this is gonna be hard. Uh, so we need Plague Shot for the Decay. I think that's the... That's the plan. This guy has also been uh, dispelling himself, which is not my favorite thing in the world. Yeah, okay, yeah, so we, we do need to make sure that that doesn't, uh, that we don't get ourselves killed that way. Uh, let's see. Grab a Shadow Mend. This is this is an interesting uh, an interesting conundrum to be sure. Forty two. I mean, we can take one hit. That's about it. Oh, that that hurts. I really wanted. Uh, Three of these would kill us, for sure. So this... 
is what we do, I think. Oh, oh God. It, Reginald is eventually going to die. That's the, uh... That's the dirty little secret here. Like, I don't actually think I can... I can't protect him forever. Uh... Can't do another one. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is... Oh, I can't believe that, that this may be the, the death of us. We only have two actions. Got to be, it's got to be that and that. I mean, are we going to get better than this? I think the answer is no. Uh... The problem is this guy's also insanely fast, which means how do I... So right now he's hitting for 59. Mend, smite, kill. Maybe it works? Is this, is this enough? Because we're, we're going to take 59 when we smite. So mend heals for 20, but we take 11. So this is a 9-point heal. Uh, if we... I mean... I think, I think maybe we just smite for the kill and take the death. Yeah, I, I don't... Is it is it better for us to die and try again? Do we think we could do better with this fight? Heal falls, then die. Yeah, is that random? Because like it, it literally was like this guy had twenty four by like turn two. Okay, let's just reload combat then, and we'll just try again. I wonder if the order in which I click these changes the... what we get. Doesn't appear so. This guy did get it last time. So maybe we need to... Maybe we need to focus him down. While, while it's manageable. The front two have a self-heal, or a, a self-dispel, okay. Noted. This uh, wolf guard is pretty insane, I will say. But yeah, he's already up to eight thorns. This is what is so mind-boggling to me. Uh, it is it is amazing how quickly uh, things stack in not our favor. We don't we don't need to do anything here. We'll just get rid of that. Yep, up to 12 already. So I think uh, I think the seed does determine where that goes. Because this guy is getting all the stacks again.
think I think just Blade Fury here. I think we do this to just remove that, and then the the regen and the thorns. I I really underestimated how bad this fight would be with a. Uh, with that combination. It really does enjoy stacking it all on the same person, doesn't it? <laughs> and the and the dispels as well are uh, are a spicy, spicy meatball. Let's see. I want to keep the blade fury. I think. And the killer instinct. Every turn a random monster. Okay, so I think that's what I misunderstood. When I thought turn, I thought it was round. Turn is a lot worse. It stacks up insanely quickly for that reason. Uh, we can't do... We can't do both here, so... I'll do that, and then you can slow down without losing any... Wait, why did that... I thought, wait, two speed, it's minus four. Okay. I, each stack being minus four, I was not aware that that was the case. Noted. Let's see. I hate seeing that. Let's see. Uh... Mark, we will play Hunter's Mark. We're going to take 18 by 3. Okay. I think I'm done at that point. I'd love Binding Heal. Any chance that's still in the deck? No, we could get Focus Heal. Struggle, the struggle is real here. We, do, we need to kill now. This is this is kill o'clock. We have four, so I think we just barricade into Ren. And then at least we have the 16 here to finish this off. Okay, that was a that was an unfun fight. <laughs> Change weapon. Reveal two melee attacks. Uh, coat of arms. Coat of arms is interesting, but I don't think we need it. Uh, another upgraded poison shot. I think I'll take that. Eventually, soon we're going to re remove. Sneaky strike. Sneaky strike looks like it's right up this deck's alley. Uh, flash, flash heal seems insane, because when we level up, that'll be doubly great. 
All right, so everybody gets one free level up, right? So, like, I can grab, like, Enrage here. As a level up is Battle Plan. Oh, Battle Plan becomes... Battle Plan can become... Oh, that's a Transmute, though. So let's do Enrage, and then... Draw one, gain two energy, gain powerful, or gain four fury. I don't know which of those is better. So powerful is 5% damage per charge. Fury, you bleed, but it looks like it doesn't go away. Uh, so it, aren't the upgrades cost dependent on the gem? So like, because this is a purple, this is going to be the most expensive one to upgrade, right? That's why I'm choosing this one. Yeah, so I'm going to go, I'm going to go with this, this upgrade. Then here we have, we could do the adrenaline upgrade. Oh, adrenaline being able to be used without it going away is very interesting and having no down shot, downside. So we have no purple cards here. I think I like the idea of adrenaline being usable more regularly. Uh, fl flurry does lose stacks. It gives more stacks so it lasts longer, but it bleeds you. Okay, I'm, I'm down to try that. I think I'm gonna go with this upgrade on adrenaline to make it free and also remove its downside and we can use it multiple times then. That'll be good for our engine. And then Black Talons doesn't have an upgrade. We could do a deflect upgrade. What about Ambush? Ambush is always in our hand. We always start with stealth too. So that's kind of interesting, but it's so expensive. I think I, I think I want a Blade Flurry upgrade, even though it's like, it's not super value. Or we could do Fan of Knives. This is where X equals your sharpness. This saves us a ton, but we have to, at the moment, we're not taking advantage of it at all. And it would be doing zero. So I don't think we can justify that. We could also do Backstab. It will make it require stealth and it does like crazy work. Backstab, I think, also, this upgrade could be really good, but yeah, we'll do we'll do this one, I think. And then for you, we have a second omen of peril. Which we can upgrade, I think. Pick a healing spell from your from your vanish pile and put it into your hand. We don't have any vanishing ones, so we'll go with the blue here. There we go. All right, I think it was worth doing that. I, I feel that that rerun mechanic is an interesting one. All right, this looks like it's a card reward for everybody. The Rune Master. On the road, you meet an old dwarf who is throwing small rune stones over and over again. When you approach, you say, uh, he says, oh, some new adventures in the lands. If you answer my riddle, maybe... Uh, I can read your future. A dragon leaves Valkareth heading south at a constant speed of 20 pegasi per hour, and a griffin leaves Senthia with the same speed heading north. What would the dragon have eaten for breakfast? I'm going to randomly say a sheep. We have a sheep. Dwarf looks at you with an incredulous face and says, A sheep here in Velkarath? You failed, but nice try. Here are some shards for your comfort. All right. Fair enough. Colosseum. We're too broke. Uh, you arrive at the Colosseum where several groups of warriors fight to see who is the best. Uh, you can bet to see which group will fight next. The competition consists of several consecutive matches. Uh, let's participate in the arena. That sounds interesting. Fairy of Chase to face uh, one of the two main groups of gladiators. You must prove your worth by taking on a group of vicious insects captured in a distant land. Okay. Let's see. I don't think for this first one I need my strikes. I think we're going to be defending up a bit here. It's going, Bez. 
We uh, we definitely lost our last run uh, in the due to a selecting a bad modifier at a at a bad time. Let's see. I don't even know what our our first attack here should be. So if we sneaky strike into blade flurry, then we can deflect twice. So I think that's probably correct. We do a ton of damage to this guy. This guy was annoying the last time we ran into him. So let's do that. Then we deflect. We deflect. Oh, we should have used sneak peek though. That was a mistake. Yeah. I got that one a little late, Bez, but yeah, you're correct. Good call. All right, we got ourselves an ammunition. Deal eight damage to everybody or volley. All monsters deal 13 and apply. Oh, this volley seems insane. Let's let's grab it. It's basically the rest of our turn, but like that's that's some damage for sure. Yeah, missing sneak peek was it was definitely a mistake, but just hoping for binding heal on our uh on our uh, on our healer. That would be good. We we have lots of healing in the deck. Our deck is not for lack lacking in healing. We didn't get all of it that I wanted, but oh, that's not great. Let's see. Okay. I mean, we're still better off than when we walked in, right? That's what counts. Okay, let's see. We play Wild Hunt. I think we do... I think we're going to mark this guy up. And then try and obliterate him. Okay, show me a barrier, please. Very cool. And we may be able to finish things off given all the mark that we currently have. The question is, do I want to? I might want to delay one turn for... Nah, we're, we're healthy enough. Let's, let's just finish it. We also finish it on an excellent performance, which I think is good. Uh, not a lot of perks. I think we have 10 at this point, Bez. Let's see. Demoralizing Shout. Weak. Ooh. Minus damage and healing done, 50%. Demoralizing Shout seems insane. Blood Feed, also interesting. Yeah, I like Demoralizing Shout. That's an easy one. Uh, an already upgraded Plague Shot. It's expensive, though. I really like Ricochet. I think I want to grab a Ricochet. I think we're taking too many cards, but someday we're going to get to thin our deck, and it's going to be awesome. Purge Thorns. Having a Purge Thorns here could be good. Yeah, I picked up the extra starting energy, Bez. That one, I got the first level of that. I like another Sneaky Strike, but I'm going to grab an Uproot for the utility. And then I think another Flash Heal is good. Okay, so you have suffered some damage and you do not want to continue. No, we're pretty healthy. Fight the Fang Gang or fight the Blazing Brothers. I think we have slightly more poison, so I'm going to assume the Fang Gang are spiders, because it's always spiders, and we'll go we'll go with the Fang Gang. They are werewolf gladiators. Okay, so that's not exactly what I expected, but that's okay. Let's see. Let's battle plan it up. We'll send this away, and send a defend away. Barricade is an amazing start here. That'll help us be solid. That's just do that. And then I'll save the rest of our energy. Okay, let's deflect. 
Deflect. I should have taken advantage of the fact that we had... We had stealth. I, I did mess up the stealth there. I'm going to focus on this guy first, I think. Ricochet seems good. Lethal Shot seems good. We have plenty of other things to cast, though, so maybe one of these cheap ones would be good. Let's grab Ricochet. Oh, it's a 20% chance. Okay, that was definitely more aggregate damage than we were going to get otherwise. Who do I want to improve the hand of? I think you. Yeah, let's get rid of those cards. Oh, that's how much stronger it gets each jump? Noted. Okay. I think my targeting was bad going for the front one, but we'll see. So delayed response really slows someone down a lot. So I don't I don't like using that anymore. I think I want to get rid of that, actually. Healing Totem? Okay, yeah, so the Ura Caster, that's not great. We need to pay attention to that. I think we'll still probably try to take out this front guy. slow for for being so fast is this better than another barricade no I think another barricade is better with four energy I think it's black talon into blade fury Oh, I, I should have killed this guy off. I forgot this other guy heals. Let's do that, because when our block drops, I'd like to have a little bit on that. Okay, they purged us and then firebolted. So no heal means we're uh, we're in good stead. Good job, Wolf Guard. Definitely stacking up there. Uh, let's see. Okay, we need a big heal for our frontliner. That's for sure. Uh, you're the next target on the Price is Right. need some big heals on our frontliner, that's all. Ah, Dispel Magic. Amazing. We only have two left, but we can grab a Shadow Mend into a Binding Heal. That's not bad. We didn't, we didn't get fully healed like I wanted to, but... Another binding heal, Garçon. <laughs> we 
we didn't move quite as quickly through this fight as the last one. I think... My discard pile is quite large at the moment. Yeah, it's 12 cards, so... Did I draw a flash heal in time? Probably not. All right, but there we go. Good stuff. Ooh, lots of upgrades along the bottom edge there. Do it yourself, headbutt and shake it off. I like shake it off. Yeah, and especially since it's already upgraded, I like that. Sneak peeks and no there. Chant of accuracy. It does grant three sharp, which we have that other synergy. So this is a this is a song spell. It, and it says grant. Does grant mean that every turn I get three sharp? Is that what that means? Or do I just play it and it gives me sharp and that's it? Or it gives me two sharp? I think it upgrades to not vanish, but it but this one doesn't need stanza. Hmm. It just applies it once. All right, I don't think I don't think it's worth it for that. Uh, so I'm gonna let that go. And then clairvoyance is a no. Hallucination is a no. Yeah, no, none of those. All right, our decks are insanely thick. Uh, the arena champion. You have won another fight, and now you are ready to face the champion of the arena. Astarios, a great minotaur, appears in the arena, and the audience goes wild in anticipation of the bloodshed to come. You can retire now, but you will uh, earn gold for making this far. But, all right, we're going for it. Hopefully, well, he has a lot of hit points. That is, uh, that is a thing that I have noticed about this gentleman. We'll get rid of Fast Strike and that, and I think I'm just going to brace as best I can for this... Uh, for the onslaught, as it were. I think that's enough. All right. So we start, do we start with the ambush or are we better off just doing a sneaky strike into a dual strike into a dual strike? I think that's a better turn for us. Either way, we should do that one first. Now we can choose to do the ambush or two dual strikes. Dual strikes are doing 25. He gets tougher as you fight, so you might want to go bursty route on the early turns. Got it. Good to know. Two of these is better than one ambush, so we'll do those. We're not going to get a jump out of it, so this is just the cheap one. Uh, unfortunately, because I don't, I don't see him summoning anybody. So you have four, so it's going to be... It's going to be that, and then I think I want to get to some of your good cards faster. So that we have a bit more resilience. Okay. Okay, it's not bad. That's, that's very... that feels very deal-withable. Uh, I think we'll definitely Holy Smite. You're going later, so I want to shield you up a little bit. And then... I was hoping we might get rid of the... We might get rid of the, the speed down, but we did not. Just stacking up the mark as best we can. Okay, this is going to be a good turn for us. We go Killer Instinct. 
Blade Fury, I think, is better than Backstab here. Yeah. So we go... Killer Instinct. Blade Fury. Searing Blast. I'm a little bummed that we didn't do better there, but... Okay, we will enrage. Hit you with that, hit you with this. Oh, this is the end of the turn, so all of this is kind of for naught. Because the... Yeah, our tank being at the end of the turn is really a bummer. Because all this block that we just got from Barricade is going to go away. This has Dispel on it. Oh, it Dispels me. Unfortunate. All right. I was really hoping I could get our uh, our tank to go first, but... It's got to be this. Oh, it, it only Dispels Sanctify? That makes sense. Okay, that was a lot. Wait, what the actual what? Oh boy. Things just got real. <laughs> Demoralizing Shout or Barricade? I think I Barricade here. That was, that was sub, that was not ideal though, for sure. I didn't realize I was gonna have to fight two of them. Womp womp. We have four energy. I think it's it's Blade Fury here. Do we blur first? Yeah, we blur. Sneak peek, Blade Fury, Flurry. I did the best I could there. Any chance we get this guy killed? Doesn't feel super likely. Alright, well we got an achievement for 50 poison stacks, but... Okay. Asterios is dead. But now we have... What's your name? Astori Hus. <laughs> Fantastic. Uh, let's see. So... Guess we just do that. This is going to be a pretty lame turn, but... Maybe I should have stealthed at the end of the turn on that one instead. Probably should have healed my healer a bit more there. But we're mostly coming back, I feel like. With two energy left, I think that's probably better. Whirlwind is, uh, is kind of the nasty ability, it seems, for this fight. Oh, let's see, we have three energy. I think it's just 
this into two poison darts. I love that we have Binding Heal. What did I just cast? That was not the... Not the thing that I thought it was. Let's see. Dispel Magic to get our tank going faster again. Alright. I think I, I misclicked one of the... One of those abilities, but that's okay. Maybe Rapid Fire was the better pick there. Demoralizing Shout versus Barricade. I think Barricade. Oh, oh, that's why that happened? Got it. Okay. We're not playing you. We're not playing you. Oh, we didn't have enough for the intercept anyways. Okay. See, we're not invisible. We can backstab to get invisible, but then we don't get much more out of it. That. I think we poison dart and then blade fury. Please just don't whirlwind again. That's my main thing that I would prefer. He's got to be whirlwinding next turn. <laughs> But he is dead, so we just need to heal up. Okay, looks like we're going to leave this fight feeling pretty healthy. I, I swear, Barricade is just like MVP of every round. Doesn't get an action, which is good. There we go. Whew. Myrmidon unlocks 60 warrior cards. Wrecking Ball. Oh yeah, is is all barricades? That's what I like to hear. Uh, I don't think any of these are really what we're looking for. So we'll let that go. Vexing Crescendo, Music Sheet, Toxic Strike. I would happily take Toxic Strike down here, and I would happily take Far Shoot up here. But I kind of like picking up another. Adrenaline has been good. What is Fatigue? One less energy per charge. Oh, interesting. I don't think I fully understand that's how Adrenaline worked. I think I'm going to skip here. I don't like that this takes up a card in my deck. Far shoot is insane. I'm gonna take double strike though, knowing that we're gonna have to do a lot of cleanup. And then having one big heal could be interesting. Now nah, we have so many heals, I think we're good. Arena champion, become the new champion of the arena. Okay, so everybody gets this, which is power and energy, amazing. Amazing freebie. What a show, you have succeeded. Not only have you defeated Asterios, but you have defeated Astorius, the former champion at the same time. This fight will be remembered and talked about everywhere for a long time. It's time to enjoy your fame and your reward. Uh, new champions of the arena, many people will recognize you during your travels, plus you have won a commemorative trophy and a good amount of gold. Uh, you rest for a bit before continuing. No items? I wanted items. Huh, well. Over this way we go, to the stone staircase. Rose Garden. Nine thorns for everybody and max HP. That seems very minor. Party will gain access to an upgrade altar, or party will heal 30% of their maximum HP at the end of combat. So this is just an upgrade altar. Do we, I, I feel like we've done all the upgrades we care to do. We do also get score for it, but this is not a free upgrade. We can just do this so that whatever damage we take, we heal up. That's probably not a bad idea. I'm trying to think if there's anything that I do want to upgrade. We do have 800 shards. 
So, like, we could get the rupture upgrade. I'm going to remove the rupture, though. Uproot might be an interesting upgrade. Yeah, I'm just trying to decide. I, I'll go for the upgrade altar. It's better than nothing. Although, apparently, it's nine thorns. Go figure. Let's see. I love... I think it's Demoralizing Shout. I, I love Wolfguard, but I think it's Barricade and Demoralizing Shout. And then Repair Armor here. They all look the same to me. So I will, I will do that. Then... I would take 9 times 4 damage for doing Fan of Knives. That's probably not the best plan. So I'll leave it at that. There's, there's Far Shoot again. I don't think I want to be doing anything. I'm going to take a free aim shot, I think. I think that's good enough. I'm going to take a little bit of damage, but we have some heals. But the stealth stacks override when you recast it rather than stacking. So using blur last instead of first lost you a stack. Oh, good to know. Good to know. That's actually, that's very interesting. These harpies are kind of annoying. Get bad. Oh, I guess being, that's probably not the best thing because of the... These harpies seem very fast. They, pro they probably buffed themselves and I missed it. Yeah, they did. Okay. We have a deflect, so we'll do this here so that we can pick what we pick up. Def the ricochet is a little bit dangerous. So let's, let's just grab... Hunter's Mark seems like a silly thing to pick up. We have five energy, so let's pick up another Poisonous Shot. Oh, you're invisible? Unfortunate. Kind of wishing that I had taken the, uh, the healing. Start with the Enrage, see what we pick up there. Nah, let's do a Defend and then a Fast Strike so we're not taking just an insane amount of damage. You have four. So we can do Black Talon Blade Flurry. That's probably best. That, that'll be a kill here, I'm pretty sure. Oh, I can target this one. Is it worth doing it back here instead? Now let's try and secure a kill if we can. All right. Good enough. I think having one less enemy on the table is better. All right. Feeling healthy, feeling happy. Feeling less happy and healthy now. Yeah, this is the kind of game that you can't really outheal enemies if they're not dying off. Yeah. Getting the numbers advantages feels decidedly important. But the good news is we uh we have good burst damage to be able to do that, so let's see. 
Let's uh, let's do our deflects first to see what we're picking up. Okay, wild hunt. It's gonna be those two for you. Okay. I think I've learned a lesson about the fact that these guys have a tendency to hit some of the back units. That's interesting. With four, I think it's just double dual strike here. And I'm going to strip the evasion there even though. Oh, you still get the poison stacks. Okay, that's good to know. Ooh, that was a lot of damage. All right. Okay. What am I picking up with Omen of Peril? Free Flash Heal feels pretty good. I think since I'm so low, I'm going to hit myself with that. Hit that like that, and then... I can at least remove the bleed there. Yeah, this run, definitely the uh, the burst damage is better. Rain will make you take more shock and static, uh, and the blue harpy's lightning attacks. Yep, I'm planning to kill the blue harpy. So let's, let's see if I'm on the money about that one. You have three actions. It's going to be plague shot, aim shot, and then I'll just toss out a quick shot. Let me defend first, then we'll sweeping. Okay. This harpy fight is way harder than the arena champion fight. <laughs> Let's see, she's still going. Searing Blast gets the job done though. So we'll do that. No more thorns to deal with. Yeah, shock enemies seem like they can really stack up in some some nasty ways. All right, big big heals are missing, but I think I'll do. I'll just I'm just gonna get myself healthy, and then if if more folks get get healed up, that's all good. But. Should have played the barricade first. That was a bit of a, a bit of an error. Better off with an aim shot and a poisonous shot here, I think. That's a great point, Stumbles. That's actually that's a really good point. I'm gonna I wanna get some heals in here. Oh, the sheep ruined it. I don't think I like the sheep. We didn't have repair armor unlocked? That's weird. It's a really good card though. Ah, uh, this one exhausts though. Yeah, the sheep kind of run. pick one card from your discard pile and place it on top of your deck. Scavenge is interesting, but we don't. I don't think we have enough. Bane looks like a fun one if it was down here. No, I, th I think our our decks are thick enough right now. Save it for later. Transform block into shield. No and no. All right, we could pick up vile lance. Yeah, we need a few offensive cards. Okay, we get we get an upgrade here, which I wanted to see. What was the up what are the upgrade? All monsters. Oh. I love this. 
I think I think uproot. That's that's an insane upgrade right there. And then let's let's have Ricochet generate more mark. We have some mark synergy. I think that's good. What a uh, demoralizing shout is already upgraded. What was this other one? Oh, right now it gets used up. Intra I don't know if I like that. I don't think we we're not gonna fix it right now, but. Upgrade that. All right, I think we're gonna have to. We're gonna be removing a ton of stuff, so I'm. I'm happy. I think to just hold off there. Okay, so we're gonna go here because we need to go here. So here is a rest area with some dude here. Knowledge for a dream. You see a gnome tinkering with a strange mechanical platform. You get closer. He says, damn it, there's something I'm missing. I've searched scrolls, books, and everywhere for the knowledge needed to make my platform fly. I even wanted to go back into the Black Forge to investigate, but the gates are closed. Maybe you can help me. If you find a book with ancient knowledge of technology, that allows me to make my inventions fly. I will be internally grateful. Let's do our level ups now. Definitely defense mastery. That's going to be a big upgrade for us. Range mastery, that's what we've been building towards. In Venom, while dealing damage with a hit, apply three poison. Or when you play a melee attack card that costs energy, refund one energy and gain one powerful three times per turn. That's a tough choice between those two. I'm not going to lie. Uh, healing Surge... When you play a holy spell... Yeah, we want Healing Surge. I This one's a tough one. Like, in Venom... It, actually, in Venom is insane, right? Because we have a bunch of multi-hit cards. This is interesting, but we're not really like a straight hit type of deck, so we'll do that. Uh, yeah, we will accept. We will look out for any old books. Gnome thanks you for your willingness to give... Gives you a few magical shards. Gnome tells you that he has already searched half the world, so it'll be difficult to find the book unless it is in a place that can only be reached by, across the obelisks. Before passing, you rest at the camp. Momentum lets you play more cards. You have expensive cards. Yeah, that's a possibility. That's also definitely a possibility. Uh, okay, we're healthy-ish enough. So we're going to come down this way. Wow, we can go quite the ways around. We have a lot of multi-hit cards, Industrious. That's what I was thinking about. So, who knows? Maybe the wrong decision. Uh, the Gates of the Black Forge. In front of you are the Gates of the Black Forge, an ancient forge city created in the heart of the volcano. The Black Forge was shut down and has been uninhabited since the Obelisk's uprising. The Dwarven Rebellion to conquer Velkarath by creating war machines uh, from within the volcano. The gates don't seem the gates don't seem magically locked, but they are really heavy, and because of the volcano, they are really hot. Uh, touching them for too long could cause severe burns. So we can, with a 59% uh, percent, only open the gates if no one is hurt, 59%, or open the gates at any cost and endure the heat. I really want this, and it's for both of these quests, so I'm going to do it. Big money, no whammies. Everybody is okay. All right. The gates open thanks to everyone's efforts. You enter the Black Forge. The heat is really intense, and your clothes start to slowly burn. You will have to hurry, or you will be scorched. All right. So this is like the Poison Cave, but it is the other one. The Black Forge in the Vel Karath Mountains. Okay, so... Blocked entrance, we have a mine or a forge. We have the lava pit, which is extreme heat. So the thing that I don't know is... It, does one of these paths increase my chances of getting the gnome? Yeah, we do have a lot of zero-cost cards also. Uh, 
industrious. So like if we if we look at the deck for a second here, right? We have three poison darts, but yeah, we do have a lot of expensive cards as well. Yeah, I think that's that's an interesting one. So I'm trying to figure out the last sentinel is this one here, it seems. But I don't know if one of these paths is better for getting the for getting the book. Blocked entrance versus mine versus forge. I don't know. I guess we just have to learn the hard way. I, the blocked entrance is calling to me, so let's try that. The Dwarven City. In front of you is the main entrance of the Dwarven City. Sealed off after the events of the Obsidian Uprising. You would have liked to see the engineering marvel that the dwarves excavated inside the volcano, but you see no way to enter. However, among the stones, you see an old Dwarven journal. The journal is partially burned and almost impossible to read. Try to read the Dwarven journal. Unfortunately, it is too burned. You can only read a few loose fragments. Counselor Amelia's visit. The fire wizard gathered his followers. You deduce that the diary narrates the beginning of the Obsidian Uprising, but you can't get anything else. The heat is unbearable, so without wasting more time, you move forward. Okay? Fight. Access to an upgrade altar, or the party will gain access to a rare equipment shop with a 30% discount. We'll do that one. Colorful puddles. Plus 2 damage, plus 25 max HP, and blobs. We have a lot of money, so we'll do this. They are not poison immune, so we got that going for us. So we have four. So we can do we can do Wolf's Guard and Demoralizing to kind of slow everyone down for a second here. Might as well play Uproot, but what do we want to start with? I think we start with this. I don't really know which one we should which ones we should target. So I'll just go for the front guy. So that's 28 poison. That feels like that feels like Envenom did some good work. Random monsters deal a bunch of poison, explosive arrow to a monster, and then target sides damage. This one's just cheap. I think this is good. Okay, we end up with five. Which means you can play everything but one thing. Poison spray is a bunch. Yeah, this is a good turn for us. Uh, and we should play all three of these, right? Which means maybe we don't play poison spray. We don't play this poison spray, or is two poison sprays better? No, I don't think so. I think we... That's a, that's a start to a turn. Goodbye. And then uh, Wolfguard is, is going to do good work if they keep wailing on our front guy. Yeah, that's mitigating an insane amount of damage. Get bad. I think... We'll do that into that. Do I need to draw something more? Oh, we have so much energy. Let's see if we can get something else good. Let's get... Let's take a flash heal. I don't think I need a, a binding heal. Wow, we're off to the races, for sure. 
Don't mind Wild Hunt here. Uh, let's... We don't have any draw, so I'll use Expert Tracker on you to make sure you get a good turn. You won't have Stealth. Ah, so we'll, we'll actually, you can use Sneaky Strike plus this. You'll have five, so we'll let the Dual Strikes go. That's front monster. That's frustrating. Okay, show me barricades. Okay, so we already have a plan. Killer Instinct only makes that plan better. We might as well deflect to start though. Play Killer Instinct. That is doing a bunch of damage. I think we start with the sneaky strike, though. Ooh, then we we have ambush, but is Fan of Knives just better? Or is Blade, Blade Fury is probably better. Yeah. Especially from stealth. Okay, yeah, the poison is starting to get pretty strong here. Okay, I would like some rain. A little holy rain perhaps. That was a big hit. Yeah, okay, rain would be insane. Ah, oh, they've got so many blobs. They've got so many blobs. We need we need more energy dumps for uh, for our friend there. Okay. Let's see if this just takes out the front guy. Perfect. Yeah, range mastery has been such a massive power spike for us. Okay, so we're going to blur into a sneak peek. Into that. Alright, sadly we didn't get the kill on this guy, so he is still going to get to go. Yeah, it really is very nice. Uh, I hate that this guy's now gonna keel over and die after doing like a bunch of damage to us, but that's okay. Ooh, new card upgraded. Blade Dance, all monsters to poison. That seems quite good. Renew seems awesome. I've seen Renew a few times and it looks like insane. So let's grab that. Another Hunter's Mark, that might be too many Hunter's Marks. I think we might have enough Hunter's Marks. I like Blade Dance a lot, though. A little AoE there. We'll get rid of those two. 30 cards for Reginald is like, let's not talk about that. Ooh, Warrior's Code. Seems very... Longbow. Okay, so Longbow seems like it's, a, it's an easy take here. Shadow Orb, not so much. Boots of Swiftness. So Warrior's Code seems really good. You do get a charge of Vulnerable, but you get 10 max HP, you get three charges of Block. So you want that on Magnus, right? Yeah. I think the Longbow is also insane, though. I think I think I want to save the rest of my money. We need a we know we need a bunch of removal, and I'm not seeing anything here that's like transformative. Like Reginald would certainly benefit from the heavy belt, but I don't think it's worth going bankrupt. 
Maybe it is. We're only like halfway through the region. And if we find it again, we can upgrade it, which is pretty sick. A little more HP. Yeah, we'll save our money. You want money next map? It gets you a character? Oh, really? Interesting. Okay, well, we're relatively healthy. I will save the rest of my money. The Outer Forge. Walls of the Volcano find their way to the Dwarven Forge, the auxiliary work works of the city. Although it's somewhat damaged, it seems to still work. On one side of the forge, you see obsidian ingots and some dwarf blueprints that are still intact. Obsidian ingots are valuable for their own right, but perhaps you could try using them to craft some dwarven items with blueprints. So let's see, 79, 60. So the highest chance is we could craft an obsidian ring, which is resistance, fire resistance, and plus one charge. You have the horn, so if you can afford a boat, in the green portal, you unlock a healer. Oh, interesting. We could also try to craft this. Not that interesting. This is insane. These seem ridiculous. Who would we put them on? I mean, we could replace the brigand armor right off the bat, but then we lose some speed. And we could give it to we could give it to Reginald. I mean, we don't really care that he's going to have. It's going to remove evasion, speed reduced to zero. He already goes last anyways, right? Let's try and make the osmium feet. Forty percent chance. Almost beneficial. Well, now we're not going to get it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> On Magnus, yeah, it would be run killing. That makes sense. Uh, the destroyed workshop. You arrive at a small workshop with two large ash-covered statues. The place is wrecked, full of broken dwarven machines and pieces of metal. You search through the rubble for anything of value and find a locked box decorated with dwarven motifs. Uh, looks quite ancient. Box does not seem exceptionally difficult to open. You could open it with little effort. Uh, we'll let our rogue open it. Bulls opens the box carefully, realizing what, uh, that there was some kind of trap set, but luckily she is skillful enough to not set off the box. Inside the box, you find a small mysterious key with a black ribbon. When you pass near the statues, they activate. Uh, you suddenly realize that they weren't statues, but inactive dwarven golems. You defend yourself as best you can. Fight! Okay, so that's presumably the key that they needed. Oh, these guys seem unpleasant. Oh, I don't know how much energy we have. This always drives me crazy. Um, get rid of that. Get rid of that, I guess. No, we we'll want those two. Actually, I will get rid of that. Five energy. Okay, so it's going to be barricade, barricade. Shake it off to remove some stuff. Should have used the intercept first, but that's okay. Oh, is there a hide button? I, I looked for it previously and just couldn't find it, but I'm not surprised that there is one. Let's see. We blade fury into deflect. I think ambush is, is not all that in a bag of chips like I thought it was. But we're doing so much poison here. It's it's rather remarkable. Uh, we'll take a plague shot here. Nice cheap plague shot. Absolutely. You have three left. It's going to be that. Close. And then... I'm just going to try and improve your draw. I had a feeling that we were just going to have like a truly terrible draw on our tank because we got so many good things the first time. So I think that's good. When you use tracking, you can look for the hide button. Okay, I'll, I'll take a look at it. Wow, that guy hit really hard. Okay, it took a tiny bit of damage there. That's okay, though. Let's see. We can dispel magic on you. That gets rid of a lot of the garbage that you're dealing with.
So we have the barrier there just to protect ourselves. That's mostly for next turn. Okay, so let's play the cheapos first. If this guy gets to go, it's it's not the end of the world. I'm not gonna bend over backwards to try and get this guy killed before he gets a chance to act. Well, maybe I should. I mean, when I just have the demoralizing. So play a defend, play a repair armor, play an intercept. I think everybody's pretty well covered, especially now that we've got them demoralized. So does Black Talons cause that to be full poison? That's really cool. Oh my word. We are popping off something fierce. Because Black Talons, uh, with those free actions, it's kind of insane. Okay. How about, uh, how about you give me the water, the healing rains? That's the stuff. Remove all that nasty burn. Track foals into double Blade Fury turns with that? Yeah, that is... I certainly see the benefit, but wow. We just we just healed up a lot. That was very nice. Just in case I don't get the kill here, I'm gonna... be a little careful, but I think we're gonna get out of here full health. Oh no, he's taunted. What will we do? There we go. Alright. We are healthy and happy. We have unlocked another car. Siege Breaker. There are a lot of cards in this game. Another Vile Lance. I don't think we've even drawn the Vile Lance that we got, because our deck is 30 cards. Uh, none of those. None of these. So no to that. No to that, no to that. Leap Slam or Front Monster. 21 damage. Uh, double target. Okay, I don't think that's what we're looking for. All right, let's clean that out. Okay. Now, I assume that this is the key that the, that the other gnome was looking for. The Dwarven Terminator. You see a large hole in the wall of the volcano that seems to be connected to the inner city. As you get closer, you hear an increasingly loud noise and of chains and metal. Suddenly, the chains pull towards uh, pull a large dwarven war machine out of a hole. The machine is quite broken, but somehow its core is still active and the machine is still running. It is clear that the war machine is hostile and that destroying it completely is the only way forward out of the volcano. We don't need the heal. So let's just attack quickly without wasting time. I love the... I, I freaking love the, the skeleton pilot. That's amazing. Let's see, I think we, we do this first. Then we do this. Might as well remove the, the burning, but that's that was a much worse turn than last time. Okay, so I should I should attack something. I don't really know what where the right target to go first is here. Let's work on a let's work on a hand. Oh, is everything poison immune here? Wait, it has poison. Oh, we have to get through the block in order to get the, uh, in order to apply the poison, it looks like. We didn't use black talons, which is unfortunate, but. Record 
require stealth. We're not going to do that. Uh, explosive shot deals a bunch of damage, but it's very expensive. Okay, armor blocks it. Good to know. So we could do barrage. We could do just barrage. Is that worth doing? Oops, I did it accidentally. That was not my... I, I meant to use Hunter's Mark there and use the wrong one. Would have been nice if we had Hunter's Mark that first, but... Can't help but feel like... Should have played that in reverse order too. I'm gonna I'm gonna skip that heal to getting both of our reins uh, at the same time. I think is gonna be very bad for business here because we're gonna have an insane amount of burn on us. Oh my gosh! Yeah, we're getting. There's a lot of stuff going on here. All right, let's see. Definitely deflect. You're gonna have five energy. I think I need I need to make sure I get barriers, I think. One chunk is is down. Please give me some some good stuff here. Let's see. Okay, we'll do that. We got a barricade, which I think will protect us at least a little bit. Definitely put down Wolf Guard. Probably a waste of the energy, but. Good things happened there. We're not stealth, so we'll start out with that. Wait, I am stealth. Oh, didn't I? Oh, I'm marked, so I can't be stealthed. Noted. Fair enough. Right, let's do that. We got a lot of energy. We got a lot of energy to spend. That's for sure. We have an insane binding heal, which is great. doing some healing. Tactical nuke seems like a bad thing to take on the chin. Hmm. Oh, we've got some taunt there. That's noteworthy. Should have played should have played the intercept first for sure. Hindsight be do be twenty twenty sometimes. A little sad we didn't get that poisonous shot off, but seven actions. This, we play this, we we play back, I think we play backstab into fan of knives. Yeah, I think that's correct, because we'll, we'll get, oh, we're, we were, we were still marked, so that was not the correct thing. I've overvalued the stealth thinking that we were, we were going to do better there. Okay, so, we could use... 
some very big heals on our tank because they took the tactical nuke. Then you do have some bleed, so we can remove that. Might as well zap you with that and then save the remainder of our energy. That's a lot of, that's a lot of burn damage. So I'm not going to put Hunter's Mark on the back one just because I think we've probably done the work on that one. Okay. We're not going to have any barrages this time, which is going to be... Oh, no, we will have a barricade. Excuse me, not barrages anyways, but... We, we are currently marked, so we're not we're not going to get stealthed. So I think this Blade Fury followed by Uproot is best. So yeah, so what I would love to see is I would love to see one of my reins, but we've got we've used all of those unfortunately. So it doesn't get an action. We'll do that. And then, yeah, this has very limited things that it dispels. So we'll just do that. Uprooting first for vulnerable can be good for damage. Noted. Okay. You're the target again for whatever ends up happening. Let's see. We don't need... We don't need render a fast strike. So what is barrage here? This might just be the kill. On that guy, at least. Well, pretty close. Not quite. Okay, we're not stealth, so we'll start out with that. We don't need much to get the kill on this thing, so... We're still marked, so that's not going to do anything. So we, we do that. Stack up that, and at least we get the evasion from that, even if we don't get the stealth. I really need one of my reins to show up. Uh, there's not one currently in the hand, which feels pretty bad. I'm gonna grab Renew to try and offset some of the insane burn that we're currently hitting. All we need is a rain. All we need is a rain, and that will reset so many things. Okay, we might we might just have the kill soonish here. Not, not stealth. I think. Oh, we're we're not stealth, but we also, if we had a stealth enabler, uh, like backstab, we could backstab into sneak peek. Nah, we get way more out of blade fury. Oh. 
Oh, dispels actually. Let's start with a dispel. There, and then there. Oh, that's the good stuff. All right. Whew. Those, those solve the same problem. We still have a little bit of burnination going on here, but... Oh yeah, I forgot that... I always forget that Shake It Off has a discard associated with it. All the deflects the world has ever seen. That sheep is just an absolute robber. Uh, an absolute robber of, of healing opportunity. The sheep is a closer, yeah, in the worst possible way. Okay, I don't think any of those are of interest. Toxic Strike. That certainly seems like the kind of thing we're going for. Reveal one small weapon from your draw pile, put it in your hand. I actually kind of like the idea of hidden weapon. But maybe not. I just, we need to remove so much stuff. I am going to grab Shrapnel Shot. I think that's very good for us. And then Ground Slam. Ground Slam looks pretty good. I would love to if we could. I kind of want to pick up the ground slam. All right. We've done the thing. Hasta la vista, baby. After a hard fight, you defeat the dwarven war machine and several of its parts fall into the lava. Luckily, the cockpit and the core remain hanging from one of the chains. Carefully, you climb up to see what you can find. Loot. Extract the core and loot the cockpit. We become honorable. Okay. Now, surprisingly, the core still works. Uh, with it, you are able to repair the golem you found in Cynthia's tower. You will call him Heiner, and he will be able to join and protect you for future adventures. You have done a good deed and feel honorable. Also, the cockpit in the cockpit you find some gold and various valuables. Nice. Okay, let's get some let's get some gear here. So the, the crank crossbow is ah is is twice as good as the longbow. That's interesting. The flaming sword is insane here. The searing dagger was the searing dagger was good. It is the reason that we have the searing blast, which has been quite strong. We could also put the flaming sword over here, since the the searing dagger is pretty decent. But the wall here minus three speed. Uh, so we put okay, we put the wall here on our on our healer. Yeah, that's good. Okay, one down. Someone has a handbook, don't they? No, no one has a handbook. We saw one previously. Although I think that was the last run. Bronze gear is plus is plus to blunt damage. No, so flaming sword. The extra charges of block on the wall. Plus seven. Yeah. That that is very interesting. So the, the crank crossbow I think is better than the the longbow. Which is good because Reggie needs needs it. We'll grab that. And then the flaming sword. Plus three damage. This is plus one damage. The searing blast I don't think is worth it. So I think the flaming sword is going here. We do we have a lot of multi-hit on this hero. And then, is there anything... The Warrior's Code is really good. So I think we, I think we stick with the Warrior's Code. So any, the Bronze Gear, 
We could lose one speed to gain resistance from blunt plus one blunt damage. Don't know that that's what we're looking for. X more when you do it, not receive more. Oh, so that's so the wall did would not the wall would have been insane if we put it here, but the speed would have ruined it. So the receiving does not. That's good to know, Stumbles. I don't think any of these work for our hero, and I think I think the lucky paw is not as good as the warrior's codex. So we will take a hundred gold for that one. Heiner is unlocked. Hooray. All right, up and at him, out we go. Fresh air. Find some stairs still intact. They lead to the side of the exit to the Black Forge. Finally, you can feel some fresh air and take the opportunity to rest for a while before continuing. Uh, continue. Rest for a while before continuing. Barrier does some work. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Good point. Oh, okay, so we come out here, we have, looks like we're going to move to here to here. Okay. Okay, living forest, all monsters gain 25 HP. We've learned this lesson before. This was a nasty, nasty encounter. Because this is every turn. We do have uproot, but we only get to use it once. So I don't increase the quality and quantity. Interesting, Bez. Party, I think I think we don't do this one because we still need to get the key to the place to get that other unlock. That's true. We do have thorns removal. So party will gain access to an exotic equipment shop or increase the quality and quantity of card rewards at the end of combat. We'll do we'll do the we'll do the shop. We have 1200 gold. Uh yes, and we will not use uproot early. Pray for me as usual. Fast strike and so where's the hide button? Here's the hide button. So we have five energy. So if we do a demoralizing shout, it'll be demoralizing and barricade. Defend is free now though. But I'm still gonna let it go. So let's see, targets, I my preference for targets would be the blue harpy first. She's a jerk. So we use uproot immediately, that much I know. Yeah, especially since we have double strike on the back one, I think we do... Oh, we didn't have enough for fan of knives. That was a bit of a, a bit of a mistake. I think I'll put that there. Do that like that. Let's get let's see what ammunition has on offer. Explosive shot for two. We have four. I think this is this is strong. see nothing nothing is set in stone nothing is guaranteed uh she's no longer dead which is pissing me off something fierce no poison going on right now, I think. Right, I 
think we'll just do that. Why? Why are you always so slow? Why are you? Why are you always so slow? Uh, I think I'm gonna play the hunter's mark. We'll deflect. Do that. These are random enemies. So let's just see what happens. Expert tracker, so that we can. We'll get rid of that. Uh, and get rid of the dual strikes. These both coming up is going to be a fun turn for us. Do a quick shot. Okay, so let's see. We can go Killer Instinct into Ambush. Well, we can also Backstab into Ambush into Killer Instinct. That might be better does hit the back guy, which is not my favorite, but... So now now we want... Oh we, oh, we don't have the ambush because... She's evasive. So let's do that. Then we'll use a poison dart to remove that. Then we'll kill her instinct. Oh, that didn't get us enough. Oops. All right, that was that was a fail. Should probably defend first so that we so that the thorns don't become too much of a problem. And then I, I'll probably use uproot now. If, uh, on this next turn, well, I guess we're not even going to have access to it. I don't, I don't know why I'm saying I'm going to use Uproot. We don't, we don't currently have Uproot. Let's see, Dispel Magic. I just want you going faster, if at all possible. Top everybody off as best I can. The fact that this harpy is still alive is slightly uncouth. We have six energy, so let's just start out and see what the random one does. I just, I don't want her healing, so I'm going to do that. Play the free defense before we play the shake it off. There we go. Okay, we could, okay, we can sneaky strike here. Which puts us in stealth for some dual strikes here. Oh, should have sneak peeked. Definitely missed the sneak peek. Okay. This fight is still not a walk in the park. Uh, let's see what, what heal we can get here. Binding heal is definitely an easy take. And I don't want to take the damage from from that. We'll, we'll try and take this guy out here with some deflects plus some other stuff. I don't really want to hit anymore. That's it's not good for business. So now we have to decide if we're going to let this guy survive so we can get one more set of heals in or not. It's probably a mistake. The 
Let's, let's, let's finish the fight while we can. I remember really liking Thousand Needles once we went defensive. I also really like Lethal Shot, even though it's expensive. Actually, I think I like Spiked Shield more. No, Thousand Needles is way more for per energy, isn't it? Yeah, you get double as many thorns out of it. Skip that. Save it for later. Transform that into shield. Oh, that might be... Is that insane with the fact that we gave you the wall? Does that work the way that I think it does? Yeah, Reggie is insanely slow. But does save it for later mean that, like, I can do, like, a... a block multiplier. I'm going to grab this. 31 cards. We're going to have to make some difficult decisions, but this is very exciting that we are here in this shop with all of these delightful things. Firebook is a no for us. Cloak of... Let's see. So, Berserker Claws. When you play a melee attack, gain two fury. We currently have something kind of similar. But this... So, this is when you play a melee attack, not when you hit. So, I don't think that's necessarily great. Now, we have this over here in the potion slot. For every vitality charge you have, apply a thorns. I can see that going off in some things. Claw for Magnus is very nice. Oh, yeah. That's all, basically all we can afford. We said we needed to save money. Hold on. I, I want to get uh, some clarity on this. I was told that for the next act, I need to save money. Does that mean I should not pick up the Berserker Claw? But yeah, I agree. This seems like it would be very strong. But we don't attack that much with Magnus, so that might be spending a lot for a little. We could replace what Magnus has now with Cloak of Speed also. That would be interesting. I don't think we take any of these, though. If you go to the green portal, you can buy a boat. Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm excited to unlock more characters, Stumbles. Yeah, I'm, I think that's I think that's a good idea. I want to unlock more characters because I'm I'm excited to try out more people. So also I need to do a bunch of removal. Uh, I went to red biome. Yeah, so far it's only been red. Okay, so let's let's just save everything. I don't think any of these are transformative for our for our purposes. We're a little bit we're a little bit hurting. Let's see. So oh, we could get Bane. Bane seems insane. Yeah, let's get Bane. Uh, wait. Oh, oh, you're the wrong person to get Bane. Damn it. I don't, I don't want Bane. Upgrade Altar also doesn't seem super useful. I mean, I guess I'll take Bane, but like we are applying a lot of poisons, so I guess it's still like a melee attack that does a ton of damage, potentially. It essentially doubles poison. Yeah, I guess that's true. All right, we'll do this. All right, more golems. Mm. More golems. Start off with that, and then the defends are free. So I guess we'll just do that. Okay, so we start with a sneak peek. Who do we... I'm going to assume that these little guys are the, the biggest problem. 
So start with a sneak peek. Then we play... We should play an attack. Like, uproot. Then we... The Black Talons feels like it's getting wasted. I think I Black Talons uproot Killer Instinct Dual Strike. And then hide again. All monsters deal 9 damage. That's not... I think Explosive Shot is more impactful. Okay. A little worried that we're a little low on HP. Shackle is annoying there for sure. Metal Blob? I don't think we've seen the Metal Blob yet. The Electric Blob? So many blobs, so little time. Okay. Alright, good stuff. That I think we should be able to hopefully get some, some healing in here. Nice. Okay, so that'll be good. We have five. So I think I'll do this just to see what I can get. I'm kind of want, I kind of want to see if I can get the uh, if I can pick up our pick up our focus heal. That's why I went for the draw. Rain would have been a lot. Uh, we have a second one though. Oh, but we don't get it. Right, rain would have been good. Uh... Okay. Hmm. Yeah, rain would have been rain would have been very smart. This is, this is a great turn for us, regardless. Okay, Blade Dance seems very strong here. The poison's getting out of control to a certain extent. And one more turn and we should be able to do a lot. Definitely... Definitely rain would have been good. Also, we're just getting cracked to oblivion. That's probably our biggest problem. Good hit, sheep. It was a bad, bad draw for sure on our healer, uh, but hopefully we can, uh, let's, let's make sure that we're getting some good stuff. I like Wolf's Guard, I like Honorable, I like Enrage, so grab those two. Realizing that uh, the range mastery and deflect kind of have an anti synergy that I I previously hadn't thought too hard about. I want to kill this guy before he acts. Alright, 
feeling feeling a little more secure now. Yeah, the deflects are, are hurting things. Wow. That was... Oh, yeah. We, we still got a lot of stuff stacked up there. Oh, my. That... That gave me some, some heart palpitations. Okay, if we get more earthquakes, we we may have a bad time here. Nineteen twice. I think this gets the kill. Oh, it's on the back monster only. Hmm. We only have four actions. I really want to get this guy dead, though. I think we do Blade Fury, even though it's kind of, like, messy. Oh, I'm, I'm a little worried that we're, uh... Oh, this really sucks. energy. I mean, I think the, the best we can possibly do is this. But I think this guy is potentially still going to get a chance to go. Well, we did. We got a good set of damage cards here. I I don't like that we're, we're out of... We're a little light on health. Uh, obviously, coming out of that one. Uh, another binding heal. Heck yeah. We also, greater heal also has some appeal, but I think another binding heal is really good. Another blade fury is too many, I think. Poisonous blood, though, I think is insane. And then none of those. Oh, boy. Okay, so immediate boss time. That's going to be exciting. 55. I think we have to take the chance for the heal. Okay, the heal is insane. Elemental Lord. You reach the summit of the volcano. Uh... Oh, was that bleed into poison? Did I get it backwards? Transform bleed into poison. Yeah, we'll be removing that at the next town. I got that backwards. I thought it was poison into bleed. That was our last run. It's an elemental lord. I Ignado, the elemental lord, seems to be guarding the path to the obelisk uh, and does not attack immediately. You when you retreat, he plunges back into the lava. If you want to advance, you'll have to face him. At least we're healthy. But yeah, that was that was a bad grab. Okay, so definitely enrage. Definitely wolf guard. Okay, love seeing a barricade early. A little sad to see so many barricades so early, but at least first round he won't uh, he won't mess us up too badly. I think it's this and a double strike. And a... I mean, 21 poison isn't bad right off the cuff. Why do I have a feeling that this magma spike, if it doesn't die, terrible things happen? <laughs> Probably. Let's grab Ricochet just so that we do some damage to it. Okay. 
I'm going to assume that that did something good for us. And then with two, two left... Seems pretty good. Freaking Ash Storm. That was the death of our last run. Um, great. So now we got two. Now we got two of these things. I'm going to assume he kicks those forward. All right. This is good value. They're immediately going to roll this over, so this does no good. Oh, they, they retained it, so maybe it would have done a little bit. Uh, let's see. I regret taking poisonous blood. Everything about this fight is telegraphing that I need to get all these killed. I hope that that is actually correct. Let's see, we have four, so it's going to be... Well, well, we'll deflect first just to see. I think it's double dual strike here, just to get it sorted. I we all know what happens when uh, when Ash Storm gets crazy, and it's a it's a bad thing. It is a bad thing. We are at the halfway point though, so we got that going for us. Okay. Big numbers. Let's, let's set up something good over here. Honorable's not going to get us anything good. Black Talons, with only three energy, we're not going to be able to do much with that. Well, maybe we will. That was, that was as good a turn as I think I could have possibly expected. Killer Instinct is an amazing draw here. Let's deflect first, though. Then it's going to be... It's going to be Black Tap. Killer Instinct is going to gain us one. So we can, we can do Uproot, Killer Instinct, Black Talon. Okay, we do Black Talon, Uproot, Killer Instinct, Blade Fury. That is the correct. And we absolutely rock his face off. All right. Hooray for face rocking. He's doing a lot of work for nothing here. Wait, did he not die? What, what happened there? How did he not die? Is he not aware that he was on lethal? Seems like he might have missed the memo. Ah, self-heal. Ooh. Extremely lame. How's it going, my slow, slow friend? Oh, is there a combat log? There's combat stats. Ah, combat log. Ooh, okay. That's very helpful, Steam 101. Thank you. Get out of here, Magma Lord. Uh, Sacred Ceremony seems exciting. 
Okay, we got Bouncing Shield. Deals damage equal to your shield. We get another Enrage. I mean, who doesn't take another Enrage, right? We could technically probably make it a uh, sniper shot work down here, but that's not going to be a thing. Death's Reach is also very... Sacred Ceremony seems quite interesting. Yeah, I'll grab a, I'll grab a Sacred Ceremony. Bouncing Shields I don't think we need. Yeah, Enrage if in doubt. And then Adrenaline doesn't come with a draw, and I don't think there's any way to make it have a draw, so I think we skip that one. One boss killed. Path, a path in the lava. You defeat Ingdo, the Lord of Elementals. A golden chest appears from Ingdo's remains. Now the rocky path in the lava is clear and nothing stands between you and the obelisk. You can continue on your journey. You get a bunch of money, a bunch of stuff, and we open the golden chest. Ooh la la. I'm in instantly overwhelmed. Let's see. Uh... Plus one damage. When you play a book, no, we're not interested. Uh, steel rod, no. Lava crystal, 5% resist, and it you get overheat, which dispels water, suffer, burn, gain power for self. Hmm. We also have Ingdo's core, which is plus 10 HP, resistance to fire, Put heat assimilation into your hand every two turns. Self heal X, where X is your is your burn. The dispel water one. Yeah, it's self only though, right? Overheat. Yeah, it's self only, so it's not it's not insane. Transforms damage to fire. Apply. Damage with hit to fire. So all of your damage becomes fire damage with the volcanic axe. Is that that might be that might be good on on our main tank. Yeah, why not? Right? Unless Ingdo's No, I think we like the Warrior's Code. 5% all resist and overheat on this hero could be interesting. But we're losing speed. No, I think we go Volcanic Axe on our werewolf. Then over here we have the Hunting Ring. So the Quill is a weapon. So we don't like that. The cold book is not interesting. The merchant's badge we could probably get rid of at this point. And 10 HP and heat assimilation. What was heat assimilation? Is turn burn into healing and dispel healing. I don't really love that for you, but 10 HP seems pretty good. Cloak of Speed. I mean, we could replace Leather Gloves with Cloak of Speed here. Sure. Let's let's put that there. Make uh make you go a little faster. So you set up poison since we have some poison multiplication here. I think I am gonna replace the Merchant's Guild with Ingdo's Core here. And then your ring is four HP. Sure. Let's give you the Lava Crystal ring. Okay. Seems good. Ah, and we can get this guy no matter where we go. So we can go green portal or blue portal. Blue portal we know to be ice. I think we go green portal uh, because we have a poison build. If we take down the spider queen by any chance, that would be good. Uh, but it doesn't matter for this guy. He's available in each of these places. But let's go... Okay, we'll go we'll go green.
All right, now give me a moment here. I'm gonna be right back. I'm gonna go check in with uh, with my girlfriend, see what the plan is. And I doubt we're gonna do another chapter since these two ch chapters generally take like me two and a half hours. Uh, so that would be a long streaming day, but we'll see. We may ride it out. Give me just a minute here. I have to use the restroom anyways. So I'll be right back. All right, we're going to keep going. We're going to see where this run leads us. All right, act three time. We've headed through the green portal. Uh, we have a decent bankroll. We have a lot of thinning to do on our decks, uh, for sure. And we also get two upgrades. I don't care so much about transforming here. I think cost of items being cheaper is a good one to pick up. I might just do all of the, uh, I don't care about starting town basic divination too much. We have no injuries at the moment. Rarity of items in the town in armory. Uh, the rare items are more expensive, so I'm not sure. I'll do, I'll do these two. Let's just, let's just get that tier set up. Currency retention snowballs. That's good to know. Uh, that's that is that is useful information. Thirty HP. Wow, that's insane. Ninja scroll was so good for us last round, last run that is. 
That did a lot of work for us last time. Poison Dagger. Is that just like... Poison Dagger, I think, is... I think it's an upgrade here. Let's, uh, let's... Let's do our removals, just because, like, I think this is going to be absolutely brutally expensive. Uh... <laughs> To, to do the removals that we need to do. Uh, I don't even know what removals are doing there. Over here, like I think all the basic heals get removed. I, I don't like the way that this list jumps when, when that happens. I think we get rid of the Holy Smites as well. Gosh, we, there is, there's not a lot of stuff to remove, is there? Let's see. So, uh, Rupture definitely gets removed. Do we want Poison Spray? I mean, I know we took it. It's kind of expensive. Uh, Poisonous Blood, we know we need to get rid of. Both the aim shots get, get going. All right, we're going to be, we're going to be broke before we go too far here. Uh, the fast strikes need to go. I think this is more important than buying any upgrades from the shop. So, uh, Ren's too, I think. So let's see, we have unupgraded plague shots. We have a ton of defend of uh, of deflects, which in hindsight I'm not thrilled about, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna remove any of them. Poison darts have been surprisingly effective, but maybe we maybe we don't want them just because we want to increase. I think blurs have been dead draws for us. So let's get rid of those. If we can just get everyone down a little bit, that would be helpful. Yeah, I'm not I'm not losing my mind about any of that. Okay, we'll we'll save our money for the moment. Now we're not gonna do a divination, but what stuff needs what stuff needs upgrading? What does the upgrade on shrapnel shot look like? More damage or more blunt? So we would go with this one, but I don't know that I don't know that shrapnel shot is all that important to our setup. I th I know that plague shot is expensive, but getting those upgraded I think is is important for us. What is Poison Shot? Poison Spray becomes cheaper. That is pretty nice. But let's see. Uh, oh, getting this other Blade Fury upgraded so that it can hit monsters is good, I think. We never we never got the stuff that we needed to make. What was, what was that ability that we had that we were like, oh, this could totally go off insanely? Was it Fan of Knives that, like, the upgrade for Fan of Knives is... Yeah, it becomes this X and X thing where X is... I think we remove Fan of Knives. I think it's... Uh, I think it. the build did not come together around it. I'm kind of feeling the same way about Backstab and Ambush. Maybe Backstab we keep, maybe Ambush we get rid of. Yeah, I, I don't think this deck is that. We're going for more like hit many times type of thing. Remove Sneak Peek, that's a good call. Well, I like Sneak Peek, actually. I, I like having the Mark synergy on it, so I'm not... I don't think we get rid of that. Lethal Shot? Lethal Shot fits well with the build. Do we like... We need to upgrade Divine Grace, because there is an upgrade for Divine Grace that's less trash, I think. Oh, we can't upgrade Divine Grace? Hey, congratulations, thanks. Nothing nothing beats a new car. We could destroy we could get rid of some defends. But I don't think we need to. I mean, we've cleaned up our decks a lot. I'm surprised we can't upgrade Divine Grace. That makes me kind of want to delete it. I think it's because we haven't discovered it. Oh, 
oh, it's about the, the restriction. I mean, we start with stealth, so I think there's there's some value to that. Yeah, the poison dagger might have been interesting, but I think it's it was a bit of a side grade. And then Well, we have a lot more a lot more upgrading we can potentially do. Flash heal, what what's the deal? It either just gets a little bit better or we get a draw off of it. We got the draw for the other one. I kind of like that because it thins our deck a little bit. And we have lots of other heals, so we're not we're not in that much trouble. I don't like that dual strike is not double strike. <laughs> I'll upgrade it so we have flexibility in where we put it. And then blade dance. That gets expensive. Uh, we'll we'll keep it we'll keep it cheap. I don't care about the bleed on it though, actually, so we won't bother upgrading at all. Oh, there was a hunting ring in the shop. Oh, I did miss it. That's that's a bummer. Uh, there's no way to get more money, right? There's ways to get more shards, right? Like, like you can do a divination, but yeah, I think once you spent once you get your money, you get your money. But that's Bez. I, that's a good call. I uh, I definitely uh, definitely missed that one. He's defends. What are what are the upgrades for defends? You can sell supplies. We only have the one though, right? How much does it sell for? Also, yeah, I think. Oh yeah, you need to get down to here to get that though. Unlock the ability to sell supplies for golden shards. Yeah. Not yet. Someday. Someday. Yeah, what, what do just regular defense, how do they upgrade? Nah, we don't, we don't need to upgrade those. They're, I think they're large enough as it is. What about ground slam? Deals more fire. It's a pretty nominal improvement there, I feel like. Thousand shields just become thousand needles just becomes more. Gaining two stealth seems seems interesting. Since we're we're a little lacking. What do I save it for later? Ooh. Save it for later is sick. Because I can, I can use Reginald as the last person in the turn order, and then we get to roll over all of our stuff. That's insane. I think. I'll get a little more bleed out of this. Or no, maybe we do poison. Uh, we can't quite do poison spray. Can't quite do lethal shot. Okay, we'll just do shrapnel. To get some bleed, I guess. I kind of want to just remove shrapnel. I don't think it fits. I'd rather draw one of the other ones. That we've already upgraded. What about Ray of Hope upgrades? Bigger heal? We can use bigger heals. And then Renew, we can't afford. Vile Lance, we can upgrade. Let's make Vile Lance cheaper so we can just spam it. We still need an energy dump there, but I think we're good to go. All right, let's press forward. Short, short on money-wise to unlock lock them. Maybe we get some, so let's see. So we can go up here to the Voodoo Hut. Is this Is this where that is? Oh, the saved money for the third world. Yeah, I forgot about that. Reginald needs some cleanup. I know, but they're all so good. I haven't seen a lot of draw mechanics. So let's see. So what's our what's our longest path up this way? It's this way. I, I didn't know how much money we needed, so. So hold on. So we've got we've got a map transition here. We've got a lonely rock here. We've got her here. Where is the... Yeah, my cleanup is very expensive. So where where is this guy? Gnome has asked you to look for an ancient book to help him find his invention. So where do we need to go for that? 
there are two exclamation marks. I mean, there are three exclamation marks, right? There's one here, one here, and one here. Sometimes I find the map very hard to read. Oh, there's an act four? Oh, I didn't know there was an act four. I thought there were only three acts. <laughs> okay. So then, is this the person who needs a bunch of money that we're not going to be able to do even though we have Belfer's Horn? Or, because we have a golden trophy event here. We know that we have the Spider Queen down here. There's also this main temple epic event. There's, there's kind of too many places to go, I feel like. I, I don't know who Mel, Melushk is, though. The boat down here? You got the horn, you got the trophy, all three exclamation points are new characters. So, so one thing that I'm wondering is, so like, there's a certain progression, right? So I couldn't go here, 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 back up to here, right? I have to progress left to right. She's the witch at the top. Okay, thank you, Bez. So she's the witch at the top, but we need... Wait, be... are you saying we need the boat, but doesn't... The last time, because we had the trophy when we went to the boat, we didn't need money to use the boat. But that was down here. It was the we had the pirate coin, I think. Because like we could go down this way, and we could like I, I don't think we can loop back around this way. So even though it kind of looks that way, I think it it doesn't work that way. So if we, we either go over this way and we see about going up this way with the boat. Or we go down this way and we go to the Lonely Rock. And then we also get the main temple event. Yeah, let's, let's just roll the dice. We'll head up this way towards her and see what happens. Well, so I am checking the dotted lines. Oh, it shows direction? Oh, based on the way that it's moving. I see. Okay. So yeah, so so this is only flows out this way. So if we go up this top way, we get her. And then we loop all the way back down around this way and go that way. I don't know if the temple event is any good. I don't know anything about it. Let's uh so if we go here, if the boat option doesn't let us go up this way, we can still go down this way and go to the frog and go to the temple. The trophy also flows to the tile before the island. That's true. So if we fail that way, yeah. So we go this way and then, I mean, from the looks of it though, if we, if we leave here, we can go here to here to here to here to here. The temple or the bare hooded wanderer. That's this guy over here. Okay, well let's let's go. I'm gonna go this way. And then we'll potentially go down from there. We also need to not die. So thunderstorm, all monsters gain plus two damage, electric resist every round at a storm to a random monster. Storm deals a bunch of damage. Remove one card, party will be able to heal. I'm not I'm just not gonna do this one. I don't think we need to. Alright, and so it begins. Let's see, I think I don't know what these guys do. We might just be able to kill this guy nearly outright though. Maybe that's the play. Okay, let's see. Certainly not a kill outright, but that's okay. We still have three. 
I don't think I need the backstab, so we'll just... Well, the backstab is... The backstab is probably better, because we can do backstab in that, and we at least are utilizing our energy. Not that it doesn't roll over. Okay. Enrage. Battle plan. Do we need ground slam? No, I think we're going to be doing other things. Poison spray seems like the, the logical one. I think we're better off using these three. Alright, should have used the front monster only one there. That was that was an error. Uh, Bruno, this is my this is my third this is my third playthrough. So I have seen I've still seen a tiny fraction of of stuff. Uh, still still working on it. All right, uproot would be a nice a nice thing to pick up for sure. We, they're starting to put some thorns out there. Uh, let's see. Put that there. Just doing that for the dispel, and then we'll toss focus healing on ourselves and be done. Okay, heat assimilation's not doing much for us. All heroes. Oh, this is all heroes removes all fire. Oh wow. Okay, I didn't realize that. That's that's a little crazy. Three. So I think. I think we do wild hunt. We do Hunter's Mark. Oh, you're invisible. Unfortunate. Oh, I hate that we just drew Bane. That's unfortunate. All right. Let me play a free defend. Then we'll ground slam. That, so we're not bleeding. Perfect timing for uproot. Oh, that's our whole turn, though. Wow, we have an energy problem on uh on our our lizard friend. The spell for our tank would be would be probably the nicest thing that we could pick up. <laughs> wow, that binding heal is massive. Also, sacred ceremony just, just gets everybody sorted. Uh, okay, don't mind that. Love ourselves a barricade. They did slow us down a lot, though, but it doesn't really matter because we're ready to go. Like Shadow from Shogun Showdown, thanks. That's amazing. Love it. I guess we're setting up a turn for you. 
Uh, do I want Sneaky Strike? Probably not. I'll keep the... No, I'll let, go, let go of those two. Let's just draw more stuff. friend so yeah so this is what i was saying so this seems insane by me playing save it for later i'm the last person in the turn order which means that everybody now rolls over like 30 block oh that is insane all right okay, what do i want to do here Heat assimilation, I guess. Then this is free. Lethal that. Oh, and I don't have bane. Oh, I have enough for bane, but I miscounted there. Okay. Well, everybody's dead. Now we just have to see if we can finish him off before. Before they get a chance to go? And the answer is no, sadly. Doesn't matter. We got we got the defend since thanks to save it for later. Gosh, the 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 number of upgraded cards is just amazing. Prayer of healing, all heroes. We have uh we have the other one for that. Another uproot, I think, is too many uproots. Holy blast, shining force. No thanks. No. Carnage, exploit openings, or dispel slow grant. Helping hand is interesting, but our, our decks are all, they're starting to figure themselves out. All right, so we're going to find out what the trophy event here is. Offer for the gold trophy for the boat. So we can get the boat without the using the gold trophy and save the money. Crocomen Mafia. At the North Pier, you meet a gang of well-armed crocomen. Uh, when approaching them, he says, Hello, travelers. As you can see, we will run this place. Uh, we run this place. If you want to use the boat, you'll have to pay us a thousand gold. We do not accept discounts, but we could make a deal with something of the same value. We have the cheapest boats here, so don't bother going to the South Pier. The boats there are even more expensive. Okay, so we'll do this. Carnage is strong for warrior damage. I'll take a look at it if we see it again. Uh, so, okay, so map. Map-wise, so now we're making a decision. If we go up here, we get her. Oh, and we can't see the we can't see the connections. Or we had a path where we went down this way and got all this stuff. I think we're gonna go do her. So let's let's bargain with them. Trophy is solid gold, so without thinking twice, they accept the exchange and let you go to the pier. Now you can go through the waters of the marsh. All right. Yeah. Yep. I, I want more characters. I'm excited about it. All right. Upwind. All monsters gain four speed, resistance. All heroes suffer four slow. That sucks. We don't like that. Exotic equipment shop, or no. We're not doing upwind. That sounds painful. I don't want to be slowed down. Okay, who do we want to delete? I think if we can get rid of one of the bugs right off, that's the best we can do. which we almost did it. Get enraged. Battle plan me. We don't need to shake it off right now. That can go back on the top of the deck, as can Captain's Howl, I think. Because I think we're going to... With five, we're going to do these two. Yeah. Oh. 
All monsters take nine, or we get some ice shots. I guess I'll do multi-shot. Let's start out with the random one. See where we hit. Okay, and then I think forward to do that, because that'll at least secure the kill. That's a pretty solid turn right there. We we didn't get as much, like, defense as I necessarily wanted us to, but... Good old fungus root. Okay, the stealth is... Oh, the stealth was prevented, it seems. So this time, save it for later doesn't do us much good. I mean, I guess it's better than nothing. So we'll, we'll do that. At least we get the 40 something rolling over here. for that uh gosh you don't get you don't get to see much when uh when you have so many of those like honor cards whatever those things are okay show me some barriers barricade is what i meant should have played the defend but we're super over defended I feel like our team's uh, doing all right. Well, in that case, I guess we're gonna have a bit more time in this fight. So much for that plan, jeez. Did not really expect that to just spawn two more of those. Very cool. We cured the slow there, so. Okay, I guess we have to focus this guy because it seems that he, uh, he does some annoying stuff. I don't know what just happened there, but. Maybe I should look at the combat log. Beginning of turn, you drew something that got played. Trailblazer, range mastery, poisonous shot. Po hmm. Okay, I don't. I don't know what that was. Gosh, I thought we were going to be done in like two turns, and now here we are. Uh, definitely not done in two turns and this fight is just going on and on okay so he's putting magic mushrooms in the deck but they don't seem to show up in the combat log so mysteries of the universe okay so that can target uh invisible things that's interesting Dark at least. 
steals energy. I see. Let's see. Uh, you're not invisible, so we'll do that. I think we just try and get you killed, which didn't go very well there. Okay, another barricade is great. Another two barricades is great. The intercepts, I think, are are maybe unnecessary. Seems like I always end up drawing them at the at the wrong moments. So I could sneaky strike into like a backstab. Oh, real lack of energy on our uh, on our rogue. Wow! Surprised that guy broke through that. There must be something. There must be something bleed related. Defends may go before intercepts. That's a, that's a very good point. Yep. Now, does this double the regen you get also? No, it does not double the regen that you get. Let's see. Get rid of your poison, I guess. Yeah, drawing into zeros is certainly not uh, not the worst thing in the world. Let's see. Anybody got any fire? Looks like someone did. I feel like we're splitting damage here. Something fierce. But yeah, when when barricade happens at the same time as save it for later, it's uh, truly a wonder to behold. All right, we'll just save one for next time. No, oh, maybe not. Okay. It may seem like a waste, but I think. Stopping this guy from having a turn is probably more more beneficial than the alternative at this point. Oh, I didn't even succeed at that. Oops. Some fortify and Magnus would go a long way. For fortify is the is the rook piece. Is that correct? So, so Alex, it, it was already dead, but the the poison acts at the end of the turn. So, the if you kill something that is like already dead, you are uh, or already dead to poison. You're you're getting you're stopping it from acting. Should have Hunter's Mark first, for sure. But we are alive. We are still unlocking cards. Stockade grants that and thorns to all heroes. So this is this is like a, a thorny barricade. That's interesting. I don't think we're taking any of those. Poison spray here. Poison spray here is kind of interesting. 
I think I like it more than a dual strike. I think another save it for later is good. But I don't think I don't think I take stockade. It's too expensive. All right, let's see what's up with the voodoo hut. The ultimate ingredient. You see a woman concentrating on a cauldron. Around her, you can see many strange gadgets, colorful potions, and animal bones. She sees you and says, I am Maluka, the shop owner. At the moment, I am very busy finishing an extremely complex potion, but I really am missing the last and most important ingredient. Do you happen to have something that belonged to a powerful demon? Well, I guess not. I, indeed, we do. We have Belfior's horn. When Maluka sees the horn of the greater demon, she can't believe it. It was just what she needed even better. Uh, excited, she thanks you by giving you some magical shards and permission to take everything you need from the store. As she promises uh, you that as soon as the potion is finished, she will close up shop and join your adventure. Nice. Okay, so what are we looking at here? I'm not seeing anything familiar looking. So we have strong mojo here, which is 10 max HP, dispel one, gain three rage regen, and two powerful every turn. Strong mojo, I think, is better than the core over here. Also, venom flask. Venom flask, I think, is is trash now. Let's let's go strange mojo here. The regen and the power, I think, will be good on on you. Seashell Amulet. We could drop a speed here for some max HP and some increase to rollover block, but I'm not sure that's what we need. Scroll of Resurrection might be good for protection. We also, we still have this bandage, which I don't think we really need anymore at all. So maybe we put Scroll of Resurrection over here on our healer, just in case. You can always get rid of it later. This this bandage isn't doing much for us. Don't think Berserk Potion gets taken. Don't think Health Potion gets taken. So I think the, the rest, we, we just take the money. But we have unlocked Maluka. Nice. We got some seahorses and some naga. We get a boatload of stuff or a free card upgrade. All monsters gain 25 HP every round. They gain seven power. We are kind of, we're kind of fast at killing stuff, but. Yeah, let's, let's roll the dice on this. Oh, so this is, oh wait, this is, hold on. This is. Prevents one curse per charge. Oh. So our poison won't work. I thought it was uh I thought it was power. I don't I don't think we need it. Let's let's continue on. Let's uh let's just fight this one as is. Okay, we are currently the seahorse dudes are an absolute menace. Fantastic news. Just what I wanted to hear. Okay. Halfway home. Start out with a battle plan. We will put... Shake it off back on the deck, and we will put a single defend back on. No, we'll put a, an intercept back on the deck. Because we're going to go enrage. We're going to go barricade. We should have put wolf guard back on the, back on the deck, I'm realizing now. Because we, we weren't going to be able to play it, and it is a very good card. I'll take the cheap poison shot. You have four actions, so it's gonna be boom, boom, bane ya. Adrenaline rush should have, uh, 
Should have went slightly differently there. Should have uh, used the the mark sooner. But we're getting zapped. But he's gone. But yeah, wow, that's a lot of that's a lot of zap that's getting stacked up. Bruh, indeed. Okay, these guys are doing some damage. Okay, so for you, do we need uproot? I don't think we need uproot. Uh, we'll keep double strike though. We only have three left. I think we just, I think we just do the lethal shot. Well, that gets rid of a lot of the debuffs that we had on you. I have to remember that we have a debuff option there. Okay, so you're not, you're not invisible right now. I think... I think Blade Fury is the best that we can do right now, because we don't have another one cost, so I think we just do that. Hold on one second. Hold on one second. They're just taking their whole turn forever. Hold on. Whenever you're ready, game. Okay, be right back. Sorry about that, dog-related excitement. Uh, let's see, where were we? So save it for later seems quite awesome right now. Uh, I think, do we have Binding Heal? No, so I will do, I'll do that. Yes, Bleed is at start of turn and Poison is at end of turn. Uh, let's see, so save it for later is awesome right now. We'll do that. We have four energy, so let's get, let's get a heal there. And probably also a heal here. And then, then does anyone have a ton of bleed? You're probably the most bleed. All right. Okay, seahorse is gone. Now, I suspect this is the... 
Yeah, when damaged by others. Okay, so we're gonna... I don't know if this ever wears off, but we're gonna try to... These are both front only. You have 59 block. All right, let's just... Let's just take the damage. There we go. All right. Wow. 42 damage there. That's pretty solid. Okay, so it's going to be Black Talons, Killer Instinct, Poison Spray, Blade Dance, Poison Dart. Whoa! That just did 43 damage. Hold on. Combat Log, what just happened there? So the combat log doesn't really tell me what happened there, unfortunately. But something insane happened there. Either way, that was very nice. Yes, I'm not mad at that. This guy somehow managed to hurt our one guy who was, like, hanging out. Uh, it wasn't the bleed, no. It was something else, which is very curious. Just do that. And then we should be able to finish this up. Quite the quite the turn there. Alright. Okay, why can't I do this? Oh my wait. I'm disarmed. Oh. Whoops. Hmm. Do that. We'll do the ground slam. Play the intercepts. Then we'll shake it off to remove some stuff. Okay, now you... You should actually be able to do some damage. Let's just get some healing in. Nope. Freaking sheep. I am amazed that we are still unlocking cards. We wanted the grinding wheel for a long time. Uh, it's the wrong upgrade for the grinding wheel, but maybe we still do it. Sawblade. Interesting. Poisonous blood. No. Chain heal. That sounds super fun. I'm going to grab that, and I'm going to gra grab a grinding wheel. Okay, so let's see. So we do this. We go here to here to here, or we can go to a shop right now. And then if we go to the shop... Oh, we can get the bear if we go this way. Okay. Let's, so let's go... We go to this fisherman's hut, then we go to the campsite, then the downward slope, then the waterfall ledge. You arrive at a ramshackle hut that is above the water level. The place is full of nets, harpoons, and fishing equipment in poor condition. At first glance, the place looks abandoned. You might find something useful. So enter the hut. We could also do... I will enter first if there are traps. I will see if there are traps. 24, 40. We'll do this one. All right. We are poisoned. We have an injury. Oh, and we have a big bad, apparently, to deal with. I'm going to assume we need to kill the little things. It's always so hard to know. What do we want to put back on top? Uh, let's put Shake It Off back on top, and let's put Repair Armor back on top. So now we have four. Uh, we redrew 
that, which is unfortunate. Because I think, I think we do that, which means we don't play that, and we probably do that. We'll go more Poison Spray, I think. We have four? All right. I think we're still better off ricocheting here. All right. We didn't set up a lot of protection, which is making me a little nervous. But oh my gosh, the sound effects are uh, are out of control at the moment. Okay. We need lots of healing at the moment. Let's grab a grab a shadow man. That's fine, I think. We need you going faster, so let's do that. Just gonna heal myself up and, and give myself a little protection. Okay, show me some show me some protection here. Uh, that's, that's not all bad. Amazing. Get rid of the insanity. Okay, killer instinct into just numbers. Okay. We do take another another round of hits from these guys, but then they should go away, and hopefully this guy isn't summoning more of them. That would be the least fun. Wow, that's a lot of insanity. Get sheeped. There's not much to save for later, but maybe we do anyways. Might as well save for later. Are you saying they always do come back? Okay, I want Blade Fury for sure. So we'll do that. And then all these get played. Oh, do we want Bane instead? Nope. We don't. We love the free cards. Okay, not bad. Okay, let's have just a really good turn, if at all possible. Yeah, that was a good start. So with four AP, it's gotta be Black Talon into Blade Fury. That was some screen shake, for sure. I'd love a dispel for uh, for our front liner, and by a dispel I mean like twenty seven trillion dispels. <sighs> well, that's a start. And then we might as well just save it for later. Oh, we only get one. All right, we'll do it on ourselves just for protection. Grinding wheels not not gonna do it. All these defends are worthless too, though. So I think that's literally a waste of energy now that I think about it. But that's okay. All right, with four energy. Just do that. 
Oh, how did you get to how did you get to go? It's interesting. I mean I think we just defend up as much as possible and that should be good. Wow, this guy is just Okay. I was like, really? Alright, we killed Rogador. That's good stuff. Uh, and we have unlocked 60 Vicar cards. Tabula Rasa, Dispel All, Purge All. Global. I mean, I think I take that. Repetition Training. Pick a melee attack from your discard pile. No. Butchering? No, I don't think so. Colossal Blow? Probably not. Okay, so none of those. Ambidextrous. Duplicate a melee attack. I would use that down here, but not up here, I don't think. Yeah, none of those. Find weakness. Smoke bomb. I just don't think it's our deck. I did like the, the cheaper upgrade for that, but I, I think no on that. I'm going to grab Tabula Rasa, though. That seems seems like it might be insane. All right, we get some money. You open the chest inside, find a lot of gold and some items that Rogdor had collected over time. Oh my gosh. I didn't know it was possible to get some of these like that seemed unique, but we can literally upgrade the crank crossbow. Whoa. That's, that's pretty disgusting. Okay. Uh, Continuum blade plus two. Oh, and level ups? I didn't see those. That's that's exciting too. All resistance, immune to water, no. Uh, plus one healing received. Healing received plus 20%. I think this is worth, the platinum ring is worth replacing one speed. Since we haven't had a chance to upgrade that. Con Continuum is nutty for thulls. Is it? Plus two damage, two times per turn when you play a melee attack. Draw a card. Yeah, we we. I think that's a good that's a good pickup. We lose a tiny bit of damage since the flaming sword was three. Maybe maybe not. Hold on, I want to wait though. Tainted rod, put a puffer. I think a puffer fish is gonna be. Draw one, deal eight, apply seven po poison, targets both sides. I want the puffer fish. I think I think the puffer fish here is insane. Because fish are free. So we replace the strong mojo with the puffer fish. I think that's better than the continuum blade. Yeah, I think so. We lose 10 max HP, but I think that's okay. Then over here, maybe the Continuum Blade... Maybe the Continuum Blade is better than the Volcano Axe. I was thinking about doing the Platinum Ring. I think the Platinum Ring is, is a better upgrade there. And then over here, you could have... You have the Scroll of Resurrection. I think we just take the, we just take the money on you. Because what, what do you have right now? You have the wall. Yeah, the wall the wall isn't doing much for us, but the, the low speed is good. So we'll take the 100 gold. Okay. Get ourselves a campsite. Ooh, a chance to remove an injury. Oh, let's do level up. Sorry, I forgot. Holy symbol, all resistance. Yeah, holy symbol is insane. We could also do. Yeah, no, we're not. We're not nuking with you. Thulls, deadly strike versus hidden hand. Hidden hand. If you play a card that leaves your hand, wait. If you play something that leaves your hand empty, draw five, gain three. Whoa. That's very interesting. Or plus two to all damage. This lasts forever. Oh, wow. Okay, that's interesting. But let's see. Serrated weapons versus repost. Serrated weapons we really liked. And then Valiant Defender was insane. But Hidden Hand. 
I think Hidden Hand, Deadly Strikes, Deadly Strikes is just plus two damage, which is a lot, but this is like an extra free turn. I'll go Deadly Strikes because we can just play it and then it's out for a while. Uh, let's, let's try and get rid of an injury. All we have to do is draw a heal. That's a heal. All right. And then you're, you're the one who is poisoned, right? Yeah. So we do this, remove. There we go. Okay, that was big money. All right. Upward and onward. We're just about to get to another guy. Ooh, last stand. Reveal three defense cards from your draw pile. Put them into your hand. Cost zero until discarded. Wow. Last stand is pretty disgusting. Plus two speed. Apply speed to a rand and insanity to a random character. I think we can do this with the challenge, and I think Last Stand is insane. So we'll do it. Okay. Seahorse first. Maybe. I think we play I think we play Deadly Strikes even though we lose stealth from it. Also, why does drawing sound like a car racing? <laughs> I'm I'm a little bit baffled by that, but that's okay. Ten damage to all is forty aggregate. I I, I want to burn down the front one though. Didn't quite get there, but that's okay. We tried. Let's see. So Valiant Defender plus four charges, random hero gains. Do we need battle plan right now? Maybe we don't play battle plan. I think we play Wolf Guard, Valiant Defender, Sweeping Strikes. Then we, we still have one left over. So let's do this. Worst case scenario, we get something that we don't want. We'll put this back on top and we'll put grinding wheel back on top. And then we can do that. Weakening Gaze is a little annoying there. Also, our tank is slowed, so we're going to need to figure that out. Reginald is silenced. That's not great. Well, I guess that's all we can do. Hmm. That's not cool. I'm assuming that she's someone that I want to deal with. We'll, we'll see if that proves true or not. Mm, don't love... Let's see, we can certainly do that. Now, Black Talons into Blade Fury. Yeah, that's, that's our wombo combo for this character. We're gonna have a big heal. I'm kind of hoping we pick up a uh, binding heal. So we'll, we'll do that. We'll barricade. 
We'll shout. We'll do that. Did we, we, did we, we didn't upgrade your sword, did we? No, you're still a volcano. So the grinding wheel is like basically a dead draw. Okay. Show me some healing cards. Yes. That is an amazing start. Okay. There we go. And then who has a bleed? Nobody has a bleed. All right. So Killer Instinct is going to give us... It's going to give us stealth. So I think we stealth into Poison Spray. That was less than what I was hoping for. Don't know why I didn't play the... Uh... Don't know why I didn't play the Hunter's Mark. That was... That was bad news bears. This, the I, I have suddenly become like hyper aware of the uh, of the the like screeching tires sound effect that they use in the game, which is just hilarious. Okay, let's see what we get from Omen of Peril first. We'll grab Flash Heal. So wait a second. So this is all resist, heal received, recover 20 HP, gain one. What is that? Invulnerable. I don't know. Let's just, let's just do that to top everybody off. And we have two left. I'll just put some there and put some there. Probably shouldn't save it for later on our tank since they're they're moving slowly, but I'm hoping this is just gonna be a quick. There we go. Alright. Last stand for Magnus seems insane. Wrecking ball, I'm not that interested in. Entrench, no, I don't think so. Neurotoxin. So this does a bunch of mind damage. Seems really good. But I, I don't think we have the budget for it right now. Poison daggers. Hit twice. It's a, it's a ranged one. We have one of them already. It's not that great. And then panacea. Ooh, panacea is just very expensive, I think. All right, let's go to the bear person. Waterfall ledge. The Hungry Dwarf, a large bear, appears in front of you as you are going down the falls. The bear rises up on two legs, and you realize that it's not a bear, but a dwarf wearing a bearskin. He approaches you and says, Hi, I am Gurkli. I came here seeking fame and glory, but I was wounded in combat and had the rest to rest in this place. I've run out of food and had to eat what, uh, what fish I can find in these waters, but they stink and taste horrible. I have a stomach ache for over a week and have been hungry the whole time. What I wouldn't give for something fresh that doesn't taste like the swamp. Oh, 50-50. That is a heal. Uh, with a normal healing spell, you manage to cure his stomach pain. Uh, Gurky thanks you by giving you some gold shards that he found in the area. Okay, so we didn't I think he's a person that we can get as a as a as a friend, but apparently not this time around at least. I think we have to probably bring him some food. Uh this is the every turn they gain regen and thorns. We're not doing that one. That should be a, a max level skull. 
Uh, you need to fish for for him in a in a first map event. Got it. All right. I guess we are gonna use this, even though we we should have used sneak peek first. Dang it. Uh, well, we can. We redeemed ourselves slightly there, but that was not not ideal. Oh, that was a mistake. Uh, put this back on top and put this back on top. Oh, we still had one energy left. Uh, let's see. Okay, everybody got a little bit. That's that's good. We need to get this grind wheel so we can use it on someone else. I think we go with the ricochet shot. Oh, I didn't play Serrated Weapon. That was a mistake. Oh. Leave Killer Instinct. Get rid of those two. Actually, that Blade Dance is pretty good in this context, so we'll do that. That's just a really great hand that we're that we're queuing up there. Oh, her getting protected is annoying she was our kill target. Okay. Silence there. What the heck? This silencing is really irking me slightly. This is not a spell? Okay, fine. I will do that then, I guess. Maybe that wasn't the play, but maybe our stuff was too good and I shouldn't have uh, shouldn't have cleared everything out, but Okay, we'll play barricade, play that, play defender, and we'll hit y'all. I guess I did get rid of all our poison, but we didn't apply that much poison. We have four left, so that's I think that's these three directed attacks. Okay, so we start out I think we start out with pufferfish. Okay, this is this is amazing. So we do black talons, we do killer instinct, we do blade dance. Okay, that was pretty good. Seems like uh, we're we're doing real well on the uh, on the defend front. If we pick up uh, our or save it for later, that would be kind of exceptionally good. Sadly, no. I put that there for the for the buffer since I wasn't expecting we'd get much value out of it. We gotta, we gotta take her down. Disarmed? Oh, I played my other cards before I noticed. That's so frustrating.
Get rid of you. Okay, chain heal. We don't really need it. I think we're just. I guess I'll I'll do a heal there just so we draw something. All right. We kind of wish I'd had that for next turn. Why are these guys so fast? Excuse me. It's like four thousand attacks in a row there. I don't think this does anything because I don't think we ever attack with sharp because we have the lava blade which might be a reason to get rid of the lava blade let's see we're gonna blade fury we might as well use these free attacks first I am going to try and kill this guy so he doesn't get a an attack. I will put that there, though, because I don't think... Holy cow, we have so much energy at the moment. Absolutely wrecked. All right. Would have liked to have gotten the heal there, but... Change weapon, blood for blood, leap slam. I think no. I think no. I like another double strike. I'll grab that. And then no, we're not gonna... We're not gonna make any of those work. All right. It is, uh, it is boss time. 58%. Oh, last time. So let's see. So last time. I don't like lightning. Most unholy. I think I think we'll go for this one. Just tougher than the other ones. But I guess let's try this first. So 58% chance. We could use the heal. That's a fail. Oh. Wait, we still healed. That's interesting. All right. This fight was rough last time. We might uh, we might get wrecked here. This is a terrible draw. The taunts on this fight are really annoying. At least we, we did, they didn't start by taunting the poison one, but I think I'm worried we're just gonna like immediately die here. Jeez, they have a ton of hit points. Let's see, we already have three, four. Nothing here is free, so I'll grab the plague shot, I guess. And then with three left, double plague shot just to stack up the goods. I mean, there's just there's just a lot that happens right off the bat. And for some reason, we started out slowed. I guess that's because of my, my foolishness. I think we got to play battle plan to see if we can get something good. Uh, we'll put Captain's Howl and Demoralizing Shout on there because we're gonna we're gonna double enrage here. But not picking up a barrage is like pretty awful. Hmm. 
Don't think we need Tabula Rasa here. Probably do that, renew myself. I was hoping that would remove the, the slow. I mean, they have a lot of good stuff. Like, what am I losing by playing Tabula Rasa, right? Because they, they have a ton of stuff that I don't know if they get it back or not, but, like, all we're losing is 20 poison. Turn order was bad, obviously. Uh, but... Okay, show me a friggin' barricade. Thank you. Looks like they they return a lot of their fortifications and stuff like that. So our our plan may be uh, imperfect. Uh, oh, now we're hitting this guy. Let's see, we only have two actions left. Well, we can we can do this. Uh, it's too late for wild hunt, unfortunately. I think. Let's see. Blade Dance seems interesting. Maybe we should use Wild Hunt. We're not going to get it for a while. Okay, so let's see. So, play this because we're not... We're not that anymore. You're at five, so we'll do deadly strikes for sure. We'll do we'll play the puffer fish because it's free. So we're gonna play black talons, then killer instinct, then sneak peek, then I think blade fury is better here. It's a tough, tough choice, though. At least we have some taunt for this turn. We're, uh, we've made some improvements, Bray. We've made some improvements. But we're, uh, we're still not out of the woods. This fight is a little tough. Let's, let's see if we can get something better. Uh, Binding Heal is quite good. Which time is my discard pile? I'm getting 23 point heal out of that. That's not bad. Uh, let's see. Detox you. Barrier myself. Our tank still has a lot of hit points, despite the the diminished bar. We need to get some of our dispels though. This is getting Okay, pretty good. Wait, where's all our uh, where's all our energy? I guess I, I guess I just go for it. Uh, definitely gonna shake off. Okay. Adrenaline rush, yes. That, yes. Straight away weapon now. Lethal shot. Big numbers. Okay. Okay, getting a head down is, is a step in the right direction. For sure. Let's see. No taunt issues here. You have five energy, so I think it's like... I think it's just... Sneaky Strike into Blade Fury. Ah, this is the Immune to Poison one that's currently taunting. That's pleasant. Oh, 
ultra regeneration has occurred. Okay, can I get like the big group heal that I got? That would be fantastic. Okay, let's try and draw it. Yeah, this one. Then who has the worst debuffs? It's definitely you. Okay. Feeling feeling better at the moment. I guess I didn't have any energy for that. Whoops. Now, if there was an award for just using the most cards. <laughs> I mean, I might as well use it. don't like that Grinding Wheel keeps showing up. I think I just need to get rid of Grinding Wheel. The slow on our tank is just really uh, doing a number. Deleting fools. Okay, more more dispels, please. Also, sheep, stop targeting. Uh, Keeping people healthy. Although, that damage was significant. Okay, we got Taunt here now, so... Ricochet for 28, yeah, we'll get some... That gets us some mark and gets us a few hits. You have three. So we could do... We could do Sneaky Strike. Into Sneak Peek, into Poison Dart. That wasn't exceptionally amazing. Okay, there's all my barricades. Thanks, game. Not gonna bother with battle plan. Should have probably played it at the beginning, just in case. Yeah, I find one thing about this game is, is like having someone who's dis a dispeller is just incredibly important. Let's see, we definitely play save it for later. We definitely play Dispel on ourselves. Oh, that's a shame. I was hoping to play Chain Heal there, but then it didn't have it. Yeah, Dispels are insane. Oh, this is... <laughs> oh, well, I can't complain too much. Drawing all those at the same time was pretty uh, hilariously bad luck. Lethal shot or both of I think both of these. Wow. That was that was insane damage. Holy cow. We clearly had a lot of marks lined up on that one. Bad 
backstab for three, then we only have one left. That doesn't really work for us. I think we're better off blade furying. Might as well uproot poison dart first. Yeah, absolutely. That That is the way to think about it, uh, Bray. It's, uh, it is frustratingly simple <laughs> in that regard. Let's see. No, we're not... We're not going to be able to do too much here. If we got our good save it for later, this would be a great moment to, to get it, but... I think this is... This one's done and dusted. After we got the first Hydra head down, I was like, I think we're going to be okay. All the... Okay, so save it for later is insane, right? Everybody now has... A jillion... Uh, a jillion block for next turn, which is immediately now. There we go. Yeah, we're good. Yep. That's the stuff. That was that was good stuff. So Carnage, I hear, is like great for damage potentially. We could grab it, but I'm not I'm not sure I'm super into it. I'm not interested in those. I don't like those. Terrorize. Terrorize. Deal a bunch of damage. Apply a bunch of that stuff. Divine Insight. Or Baptism. Transform Wet into that. Baptism with Healing Rain is kind of interesting. For sure. I'm going to grab a Carnage just because, but I think I, none of these really are doing it for me. All right, one less headache. Uh, defeat the four heads. Now you can advance to discover a large golden chest behind the columns. Okay, what do we have here? We have the Titan's Gauntlets immune to disarm. Every three turn, every turn, gain three power. Wow, I think that I think that goes here. Cloak of Speed is whatever. This is insane. Now, you have the brigand armor, not the veteran armor, unfortunately. Golden Harp is Song Spells Hydra Egg. Immune to Poison. No, Frostfire Ring, no. Polluter. For every wet charge you apply, apply one poison. Sadly, that's not... That ain't it. Storm Tiara is a no. Frostfire Ring... Is a no. I think, sadly, we kind of struck out here. Regen charges plus one, immune to that all every turn, all heroes. I mean, the, the egg, I think, is better. I'm going to go over the scroll of resurrection. Because that, we're going to try not to die. <laughs> Controversial, I know. And then you, I don't think any of these click with you. Five percent resistance, four percent resistance. No, no. The polluter. No, we don't have any. We're not applying any wet. This, does this? Does the tainted rod? Does this apply wet? No. And then the veteran's armor. We like the speed that we're getting off of the brigand armor. We were hoping for another one of those. So I think we will go money for you and then you we didn't get the hun hunting ring because i'm a dummy but none of these are it and i prefer your reinforced armor all right the Aquifar Obelisk. You are in front of the Obelisk. This is your third Obelisk, but this one is different from the other two. The energy that emanates from it is much greater, and the runes shine with much more intensity. With difficulty, you read the Obelisk runes aloud. The ground shakes and the Obelisk warps. This time, a very large portal is created. The blinding, the blinding white light comes out of the large portal, uh, but it seems harmless. Harmless. 
Although they had become accustomed to crossing the obelisk, this time the sensation had been somewhat different. When they looked around, they were astonished. Endless clouds and ancient ruins floated around them. Where were they? Certainly this place could not be reached on foot or in any normal way. The group could feel how intense the magic was, and without a doubt, uh, this had Lord Handshake's goal... Uh, had to be Lord Handshake's goal with the obelisks. On the horizon, you saw a large staircase rising above the clouds. That was where the group had to go to find Lord Handshake. All right, so this looks like a full, a full section. So we are going to save it for next week because I'm already far beyond my streaming time. So this is where we're going to leave it and we will come back to this next, uh, next time we stream this. And I'm very excited about it. I've been having a lot of fun with this. Yeah, so that's going to do it for me, YouTube and Twitch folks. Uh, this has been an awesome stream. Thank you to everybody who hung out. Uh, we will be trying the final act uh, next time. Looks like we'll probably be going down the middle here so that we can get the mysterious key and unlock the dwarf. But uh, but yeah, this was a fun one. I'm, I'm glad. We have a ton of money to spend. We have we have some supplies to do. We have some decks to clean up. But, uh, but yeah, we'll be doing that next time. So for now, thank you everybody for hanging out. It has been a pleasure. Oh, we also have a quest up there. Can we get to both of these? If we go to this one... We can't. So we have a character event here and a mysterious key event here. That's weird. So yeah, so we're here and all we can do is go down or here. Then this goes over like this. Then this goes over like this. And because we can't go up this way, we can't go to this character event. Hmm. All right, well... We'll get this one, and then I guess we'll go down to the bridge event campsite and that. But we'll be doing that next time. So for now, that does it for me. Uh, for people hanging out in Twitch world, uh, toss me a follow on YouTube or a subscription on YouTube. It helps out a great deal. If you're hanging out on the, uh, on the YouTube side of things, I'll link my Discord there. Would love to have each and every one of you uh, come and hang out. But, uh, but yeah, for now, that's going to do it for us. Thank you to everybody who hung out. And uh, this is the last stream for the week. I will be back on Wednesday of next week. And we are prepping for Boulder's Gate lunch on Thursday. So get ready for that. Very excited. But for now, I'm out. Catch you all on the flip side. Bye-bye.